against you for no reason achieved there nothing our people have been gone down on a daily basis but you and i are here gossiping you gossip this side i gossip the other side you say this and i say that at the end of the day you yourself gossiping you yourself replying they are not saved when they are laid, when they lay their hands upon you you are dead you are gone they will kill you they will kill the other brother they will kill the innocent one they will kill the poor ones in the rural village that are hoping on you and i our brothers and sisters in the rural village of a point state which we are going to discuss today they don't have any other hope if not you and i that stand at the helm of affair of the struggle for their freedom then how would they put their hope in you? And all you do every day is to be gossiping, is to backbiting. You fight this one, this one fight this one, this one fight this one. Then what do what what do you, what are you expecting them? What are you expecting them to do? What is their hope again? What is their fate? What is their hope again? And what is their fate, brother? You need to understand. You need to change your way of reasoning. You need to change your mentality. You need to move on this time. You need to press on. You need to move forward. You need to do the needful thing. You need to crack your brain. You need to deny yourself those beautiful sleep that you sleep every night. To think in the night. To calculate. What am I going to do to make sure that this thing we are doing move fast? What am I going to do? What am I going to, how am I going to advance in my own department to make sure that Biafra is being restored? To make sure that this enemy that are surrounding, moving down their troops to our region are being destroyed. These are the kind of thinking that's supposed to be coming into your mind when you deny yourself sleep. But when you go to gossip and gossip and satisfy your gossip spirit, it will put you at bed. You will sleep very well and become so happy because you achieve nothing. The spirit will make you to relax so much. You will be very happy. I am destroying them. I have countered them. I have done this. But the enemy is there. But when you crack your brain at night, when you deny yourself some certain pleasures that are necessary, but you decided to sacrifice it off, to think, to dig deep, deep, deeper in the spirit, in the darkness, to bring the best, to shine on the daytime. When you do all these things, I'm telling you, you become somebody. You become something else that the enemy cannot fight. Then you begin to walk like a machine in the daytime. People will be scared of you. People will be afraid of you. People will be calculating who is this man? Who is this woman? Where is he coming from? What is giving him energy? Some people will even think that you have one or two things that is helping you. But it is as a result of sacrificing your pleasure and reasoning very well. You now dig the best out and use it to fight the enemy. This is the level we must be at this time, brother. The enemy have surrounded us. They are there courtesy of our politicians. And we are not going to relent. You that is listening, me that I'm, I'm talking, you that is working in the other department, nobody is safe. Nobody is safe. If they lay their hands on you, the same way they destroy that poor innocent woman, the same way they destroy that poor innocent boy in Okada, the same way they are going to destroy you. You must have that in mind. Their intention is to kill, to maim and to destroy, to make sure that they erase us out of the surface of the planet Earth. Very, very important. Very, very important to understand the intentions of the enemy is to destroy us, is to maim us, and to erase us out of the surface of the planet Earth. But with the wisdom upon you, with the wisdom upon me, we are not going to let it be, brother. We are not going to let it be. We must fight this battle to the core. We must get ready. And this is the time. Very, very important. The enemy are gearing up. They have succeeded with our political leaders. You must have that in mind. Our political leaders are the ones enforcing their evil agenda upon their people. They, our political leaders, our traditional rulers, our so-called anything you call the leaders now in Biafra land are the people and anything they tell them they just do just because they have put them in a position. Anything they tell them, they just come and enforce it. They just come and impose it. 
they just come and throw it on us, press it on us, brothers and sisters. That is why we need to rise up to know who is who. And they have succeeded in penetrating in some certain local people among us. People we think that will be putting the sand upon us to move on. Sometimes you hear your brother talking rubbish. You hear your sister talking rubbish because those ones in power have succeeded in penetrating them either mentally or by cash. They have succeeded in buying their mind. So we have a very big work to continue to do. We need to talk. We need to reach to those people. Mostly the vulnerable ones among us. The, the, will I say the gullible ones. Those who, who don't know where to belong. They only just see you. You are an evil person. Anything you say, they believe. We need to visit those ones, brother. That is why you have a very good big job to do now. Not just to be gossiping or attacking this person and you say you are fighting for Biafra. I am Mazin Namdekan, this, this, that. But all your intention is just to attack all the whole comrades, all the whole lieutenants. You don't know what you are doing. It's either you don't know what you are doing or you have been bought. You must have that in mind. This is a simple advice to you. But we must march on. For the Zoological Republic of Nigeria, we must bring the zoo down. The zoo is finished. Nigeria will never survive it again. We must continue our push to make sure that the injury given to Zoological Republic will not be healed and more injury to be afflicted in Nigeria so that Nigeria will suddenly collapse one day. Even while they are still putting it in order, it will just collapse and destroy them. It will collapse and destroy them. This is our plan, and we must continue to push it. Number one is that the economy is down. And who brought the economy down? Because of the money they looted. Nobody telling you recession and whatever. It is fallacy. It is lie. Because Nigeria did not undergo any war, or Nigeria did not face any natural disaster. All the whole money we are looted by Tinubu, all the whole money we are looted by Fashola, all the whole money we are looted by Oju Zokalo, all the whole money we are looted by Rocha Sokorocha, all the whole money we are looted by Obiano, all the whole money we are looted by Kwankwaso, all the whole money we are looted by Atahiru, all the whole money we are looted by Babankida, by Abdeslam Abubakar, all of them by Muazu, all the whole money we are looted by these criminals. That is why we are telling you that the zoo has come to an end. Because they themselves are the one destroying it gradually. Listen to us and follow our ways. So that you will not die while Nigeria is being collapsed. Listen to what we are telling you. And this is the time. Listen to us. You may not follow us. But pay attention to what we are telling you. That is what will save you. Very, very important. This is Radio Biafra House of Service 2. Coming to you from the platform of Radio Biafra London under the leadership of Onyendu Mazin Namdekano, Ohamadike, one of Biafra land. And on that note, I would like you to just to bow down your head and let's commit our proceeding into the hands of Jehovah Elohim. Juku Okikabi Ameke Kerowanile, the Most High God, as we pray. And the righteous King of Glory, we give you praise, we give you glory. Be thou exalted, immortal Redeemer. My Lord and my God, my Father, my Maker, you alone is God and beside it there is no any other God. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore thee. Father, we glorify your name. Ancient of the day, we lift your name higher because you are God. Take glory, almighty God. Take glory, Jehovah Jireh. Heavenly Father, Lord God, Jehovah, we have come in your presence, O Lord. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. In your presence, anointing breaks every yoke. In your presence, there is renewal. In your presence, there is restoration. In your presence, there is freedom. In your presence, there is healing. In your presence, there is liberation. In your presence, there is blessing. Father, we have come in your presence, O Lord God Jehovah, because in your presence there is forgiveness, there is pardon. Abba, Father, everything is intact in your presence, and that is why we will never go against your presence. Heavenly Father, 
Here we are in your presence, O Lord, in every humility, in our nothingness, Jehovah Nancy, coming before thee with praises, with psalms of praises, with psalms of worship, Abba Father, with hymns of praises, O Lord God Jehovah, to glorify thy name, because there is none like thee. Father, we say, be thou exalted, ancient of the day. Be thou exalted, Jehovah Jireh. Be thou exalted, the lilies of valley, the sharons of rules. I am that I am. Be thou exalted, immortal redeemer. Lord, we worship you. We adore thee. We bless your holy name, because you are God. Be thou exalted, Abba Father. Rise, O Lord God Jehovah. This Shekinah glory, arise and take your glory. Because no man will share your glory, not in our own time. No any ugly gods, nothing, Abba Father Jehovah, that has the right, the power to share your glory with us. Jehovah Ninsi, Jehovah Jireh El Shaddai Adonai, we lift your name higher. The most high God, the beginning and the end. We worship you, we worship you, we adore thee. Blessed be your holy name. Arise and take thy glory. Arise and take thy glory at all time, O Lord God Jehovah, because there is none like thee. There is none like thee, Jehovah Ninsi. Be thou exalted, immortal Redeemer. Blessed be your holy name, Abba Father Jehovah. As we have come in thy presence, O Lord God Jehovah, we renew our strength. We renew our soul, our spirit, our body. Father, we refresh ourselves, O Lord. Father, we take protection, O Lord God Jehovah, immortal Redeemer, because you are God. Father, we begin to present our petition before day, ah, but Father, because you are that God that answered prayer. There is no any other God that answered prayer, if not you, Jehovah. And say, as we commit your servant, our leader, Mazetnam the Kano before you, ancient of ancient to Lord, we continue to pray, Jehovah Ninsi, Abba Father, that you will protect him. Father, your eyes is set upon him, there and night to Lord God Jehovah. Whatever the enemies are planning, whatever the jihadists, whatever the fulan is, whatever the Igbo wicked people are planning, Abba Father, whatever Nigeria is planning against our leader Jehovah Ninsi, you will expose them, you will destroy it. You will not allow it to be a mortal redeemer. You will not allow it to come to pass, my father, my maker, because you are God. Ancient of ancient, who is he that will prophesy? And it come to pass when you, Jehovah Jireh, ancient of ancient, have not yet approved it. Who is he that will close a door that you have opened? Or who is he that will open a door that you have closed? Jehovah Nisi. No one, no one. That is why we are presenting him before you, Abba Father. Immortal Redeemer that the will of the wicked will not come to pass. Rather, it is your will Abba Father that you will deliver him, that you will protect him, that you will shield him, O Lord, and you will expose and destroy the enemy that are against our leader to the glory of your name. Lord God Jehovah, the time has come, O Lord God Jehovah, Abba Father. The Bible said in Psalm 102 verse 13, that thou shalt rise and remember Zion. It is time to show her mercy, for the appointed time is now. Father, the enemy is in the land. They have sent their troops. They have sent their troops left and right to Lord. Killing at will. Destroying our people. Maiming and killing. Lord God Jehovah in a broad daylight. The military that are meant to defend the country are now destroying the country because they are not the real one. These are all Shabab. Father, these are the radicalized Boko Haram and the repentant bandits. Jehovah Nancy, my Lord and my God. They are there killing your people, Abba Father. We now lift your own chariot which thou hast formed by thyself. ESN Jehovah Nancy. Father, you will strengthen our people, O Lord. Father, you will use them. Father, Lord God, Jehovah, Abba, Father, give them the strength, the energy, the ability, that understanding you put on David, irrespective of the gigantic, the giantic of Goliath, Abba, Father, you give David the, the courage, you give David the strength and the ability to destroy that Goliath. Jehovah, Nancy, I'm praying, Abba, Father, let such force, let such power, let such energy come upon ESN, irrespective of how they lay to them, and Abba, Father Jehovah, may they crush this evil. May they crush this monster. May they crush this demon that are in our land at this 
time, destroying our people, killing our people, courtesy of the so-called politicians. Jehovah Nancy, bless ESN, protect them, guide them, be with them. My Lord and my God, my Father, my Maker, Abba Father, may your Archangel Jehovah Nancy be their commander at this moment. Lead and guide and direct them to the glory of your name. Be thou exalted, Abba Father Jehovah, as I continue to lift your children scattered all over the world. My Father, my Maker, Haitian to patient from North Pole to South Pole, Lord God Jehovah, I continue to pray, Abba Father, that you will bless your people, that you will protect your people, Jehovah Nancy. Haitian to patient to Lord, as we are coming into this weekend, Heavenly Father, I pray prophetically, Abba Father, any of the IPOB working assiduously for the restoration of your kingdom here on earth that is facing any challenge, Lord, as this week is coming to an end, let that challenge expire. Let that challenge, let that pain, let that situation that this child is crying, Father, let it end with this week to the glory of your name, that you will do it and prove to the world that indeed you are the God that brought these people to this earth. You are their God and you remain in their God. Father, let that thing come to an end. Let that situation, that condition, Father, let it expire this weekend to the glory of your name. Be thou exalted, Abba Father Jehovah, upon your children, IPOB, all over the world, those in Biafra land, Abba Father, let every situation, condition that is not godly, he is facing, Father, let it come to an end this weekend to the glory of your name. Be thou exalted, Abba Father Jehovah. Thank you, my Lord and my God. Lord, as I lift Biafra land, oh Lord, I continue to speak your word prophetically, immortal redeemer. Let the land rise at this moment, O oh Lord. Let the forces, let the element, let the power that you have deposited in the land, let it begin to work. Abba Father, as we speak to the earth, O oh earth, O oh earth, O oh Biafra land, arise in judgment. Destroy anything that is coming to destroy people that of the Lord. Destroy it. Any evil in the land, open and swallow it. Let the flood wash away every evil, iniquity, wickedness of any kind. Let it be taken away to the glory of your name. Thank you, Abba Father Jehovah. Thank you, my Lord and my God. Be thou exalted, Abba Father. Take glory, Almighty God. Take glory, Jehovah Nancy. Father, this we pray and believe that thou hast answered us as we make this prayer in the mighty name of your beloved Son. Yeshua Hamashiach. Great dear friends, we have come to continue. We have come to continue. We have come to continue to press on for the disintegration of this abominable contraption called Zoological Republic. Nigeria itself is helping in destroying itself. And we must give a round of applause for the Zoological Republic as it helping itself to destroy itself. It's a very wonderful job. We love that. So Nigeria, you must continue to destroy yourself. You must continue to be looting the money the money made for build, construct roads and bridges and hospitals and everything, you must continue to be looting and looting and looting. Very, very important. You must continue the Zoological Republic. And you must as well import more bandits. More bandits need to be imported to the Northern Zoological Republic to continue to kill the Northern people and uh, bring them to, 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 to submission or whatever you want. Those of you in the Northern Zoological Republic, very, very important. Nigeria must continue to destroy itself. Nigeria must continue to destroy itself. Very, very important. Nigeria must continue to destroy itself. And um, we must give them a round of applause for that as they continue to destroy themselves. Very, very important. Let's take this news before we go to other things that are happening in Biafra land, let's see one or two news headline in the Zoological Republic of Nigeria. Look at, listen to this one. And it said, Bandit killed 21 person in fresh attack 
on Zamfara community born police military vehicle during six hours operation I hope that you people are listening all of you one Nigeria listen to this headline news and it said bandit kills 20 no be me right am no be IPO be right am now on a beloved uh, one Nigerian newspaper is reporting at least this one is online so you cannot go and quench, quench them because it's things like punch, vanguard, and all those ones that have been crippled. You can never hear such killings. The only thing they emphasize is that um, Devil Mai said he will raise the second uh, this thing to destroy. That kind of news. That is what. But to tell you exactly how the bandits are ravaging the entire Northern Zoological Republic. No idiots. None of the idiotic uh, press um, house, media house in the Zoological Republic will publish such but rather when it uh, concerns ipob nam the kind of biafra secessionist whatever they call us um proscribed you see them they are bouncing up i love it that is why i say a round of applause to zoological republic as they are destroying themselves the entire northern zoological republic is gone people don't know this the entire northern zoological republic is gone nigeria north is gone because bandits are ravaging but you see some useless elders from the north some useless elders from the north are the one doing what telling the government the Arewa, northern Arewa elders forum the news i broadcasted yesterday telling the federal government to for state of emergency in anambara whereby the entire northern nigeria has been ravaged these people are not talking about their own but their concerns to their slave they are more concerned to who? To their slave. They are more concerned to their slave. They are oil well. Because they don't have brain, they cannot think of any other way of surviving. They just need the oil. Even as we are saying that oil is going down, there will still be gas. The LNG gas. The liquid gas. They will be selling it to survive with it. They cannot think of any other thing in life. That is one problem with them. So listen to just imagine the kind of killings, raping, despite the shutting of the communication, they are using letter. Bandit will have, bandit will, will kidnap like hundred people, fifty people, thirty people. Do you know what they will do? The bandit will write letter and give to one person among them, release that one, say, Okay, go now, pass this letter all around to these people. That is the way they are using. So whether communication are shut down or not, it's not even a distinct to the bandit. They are still doing their business. Because um, uh, Ababa Kamala, not Ababa Kamala, uh, Sheikh Gumi tell you that it's a business. Uh, um, Rufai tell you it's a business. Um, um, what's his name? The old fool. Uh, um, uh, what's his name? This old fool. Um, because they are evil, I don't like to put their name in. Uh, Lion Mohammed. Lai Mohammed said there is just an ordinary criminality, this, that. So they, they, they are doing their legitimate business. They continue to move in their legitimate business despite the shutting down of the telecommunication in those areas. But they are still moving about to doing their things. You must understand. So what am I trying to say in this? I'm telling you that despite... The ravaging of the banditry and the Boko Buhari boys and the Iswap, even the, 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 the assistance of the Taliban and Al Shabaab supporting them, these northern elders, the, the political elders, the political class in the Northern Zoological Republic of Nigeria don't even care about all this. Is their intention, their eyes is in an Ambra election. I, I believe that our people are understanding what is going on where their interest is not even in their own because they may leave that area for the bandits bandits will take over then they will shift down towards the east by that time they have killed all of you kill all of us then they will take our land this is their intention if not tell me somebody whose house is on fire and he's concerned about another person's house see the news headline again which i want to deliberate on today bandits kill 21 person in fresh, the, 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 the writer put it very well, fresh attack on Zamfara community, born police, military vehicle during six hours, powerful six hours operation, no intervention, six hours, 
But now, presently, troops are in Anambara. In Imo State, in Olo, in Obo, Sisi, they have chased the people out using that place as a new military camp. In Imo State. Then in a Boeing State and Enugu State now, they are camping, patrolling, but listening for six hours in Zamfara community. In the Northern Zoological Republic, for six hours, bandits, as they call them, they don't want to tag them or proscribe them as uh, uh, terrorists. The bandits now have ravaged a community in Zamfara State, shooting sporadically, doing all manner of things, even doing party, celebrating for powerful six good hours of the day. Six good hours, no intervention. They finish their business and they go. They burn police down. They burn police vehicle, uh, military vehicle, destroy them. They may not tell you the number of soldiers that have died. But if it's on our side, they try to give you the report. The time has come for everybody to wake up. Nigeria is finished and it must die. Nigeria is crying to die. I don't know whether you have seen in our area, there are people when they want to die, they will be begging to die as a result of the atrocity they have done in my own local dialect in Igbo language. He just want to die. He or she want to die, but death refused. So he, that person wished to die, but death, a, a kind of death refused to take him. That is the level the zoological is now. And that is why it's crushing people, destroying a lot of people who are still uh, uh, ignorant of what is going on. Listen to this. Gunmen suspected to be bandits have attacked um, Kuya Madaru Kaudu Namada Namoda. Kauru Namoda. I think it should be Kaura Namoda local government area of Zamfara State because Karan and Mother was formerly in um, uh, 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 in Sokoto State, but when they created Zamfara, I think it enters, I think it should be Karan and Mother Namoda. They are writing like this. Yeah. So, uh, in Karan and Mother local government area of Zamfara State, killing at least 21 persons. In Karan and Mother local government area, 21 people were dead. Kuya Madaro is about 51 kilometers to Guso, the state capital of Zamfara State. Just 51 kilometers, less than one hour, you can fly in from this place to the state capital of Zamfara State. The state that are useless, the state that cannot, this state, as they said, can't even produce, can't even yield a 1 billion naira uh, 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 revenue. You saw last week or last two weeks it was published all over the internet. The number of amount of money that state could be able to produce. The number of uh, revenue they can produce. Zamfara can't even produce one billion naira. But the same Zamfara is the headquarter of problem. Despite the gold we had that they are there mining, because of this gold they have been killing people but still cannot produce one billion naira Problems are there, killing, shooting, all manner of things. Send their soldiers, they kill them there. But they are more interested in our land. And this is why we must burn down any military, whatever that is coming down to Biafra land. Because this injustice cannot continue. Listen, Biafrans, we need to burn anything, call it self-military, patrolling, vehicle, armor, tank, whatever. We need to burn it down. Listen to what is happening in the Northern Zoological Republic where crisis is. They refuse to do anything and they are shifting down to also our land. They are trying to bring the war as some people predicted so that the war or the crisis will start from our land. Then they will say we are the one who spark it. Listen to what is happening in the Northern Zoological Republic of Nigeria. But they keep quiet. They have bribed all the whole Yoruba media, Punch newspaper, Vanguard, a Channel, all this bought up for a, a media house. They are not reporting it, except some online newspapers. You can go there and still hear one or two. The one that we are able to he receive the information. So, instead of them to send the troops there to keep peace and order, they are pushing it down to our land. That is why we must burn the thing down. 
because they are bringing it down to reduce our number. They are shooting our young men on the streets. We will bring the pictures. You see them. Go join, join our WhatsApp group. You will see some pictures being posted there. The one they are still killing at this present time. We need to wake up to match anything head on. There is no two ways about it. We need to match it head on. Irrespective of whatever anybody will write or say. It doesn't matter. Because we cannot fold our hands at this last day. At this end time. It no go work. It no go work. The gunmen also set ablaze five military and five military and the police operational vehicle, one trailer and some other vehicle belonging to the residency of the community. You see what they have done? They destroy military vehicle, they destroy police vehicle, and even there of some people in that area. Maybe those ones we are sabotaging them. They don't want to agree. Remember that this bandit now are no more bandit. This is Boko Haram in action. This is Boko Haram in action. If you follow my news, my broadcast on daily basis, that was, I think, last week or last two weeks, I read the news when they said that they have moved from uh, that area to Sokoto side and they are training the bandits how to shoot aeroplane down. Which people are doing this job the Boko Buhari boys, the Boko Haram boys, the East Wap, they are the one coaching them. So when you see somebody telling you he's a bandit, it's just um, a nickname. The real name there is the terrorist, the Boko Haram or the East Wap. They are the one doing this job. So they born vehicles belonging to the military. They destroy the community, some residents, uh, properties there, and as well police vehicles. This is happening in Zamfara State, the neighboring state to Sokoto State, where Sultan of Sokoto is dwelling, but they don't want to talk. Their intention is just on southeast. The intention of Sultan of Sokoto is just on southeast, where he owns oil well of the Niger Delta people, those who claim that they are Niger Deltas. He, he owns the whole oil well there, but none of their makres. None of their traditional rulers have one oil well in that area. Foolishness to the core. The intention of the, 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 the problem of Sultan of Sokoto is to make sure that his business and his slaves in the southeast are secured. Irrespective of how his own brothers from Futajelion that are coming in are ravaging the entire land, that is none of his business. The news I'm reading to you happened in Zamfara State, and Zamfara State is a neighbor. Kaurana Moda was formerly in uh, Sokoto State, but this time now is in Zamfara. So, Sultan is still in charge of this area under normal circumstances. It's happening to his state and he's not talking. None of his business. But the moment anything tried to resolve somehow, shifts the, the, the diagram in the southern eastern part of the zoo, then you see him, he will rise up. Either to talk to peace or look for one traditional ruler that is an efulefu to them, a servant to them, to tell him to come and caution their people. But now he himself will not caution their bandits. They won't caution their Boko Buhari boys. They won't caution their own Iswap. They won't, brother. This thing is happening in Zamfara State. 21 people killed. Police vehicle and military vehicle were born. Policemen were killed. Uh, military men were destroyed. They say for six good hours, they were shooting gun, doing the operation. There was no any air bombardment or whatever. They are Tucano jet. They keep it. Waiting for the day they will come and bomb us. We need to understand all these things. The game that are playing. The other day they told us they have, they have bombed a, a bandit in Zamfara State. They brought out one useless a, a video. They're just bombing a particular bush. People who are bombing are standing, moving about. If you watch that video very well, I just look at them. Because if you are throwing bomb in a warfare, when you throw bomb, you see people, they will lie down, maybe shooting or whatever. These people are just parading within the back of that those um, armor tanks they were using to shell a particular place to tell you that nobody is there. It's just a formality. This is what they were told to go and do, record it and show to the world that we are working, but the bandit is in a different place operating. 
the same Zamfara is where this thing is happening. Where we are spending millions and billions of the zoological money. Money getting from Biafra land. If not, tell me one thing that is coming from the north. They have proved it to you now. Aren't they proved it? Telling you that Zamfara State cannot produce up to one billion naira in revenue. But we are spending billions. A state like Medugri that is as useless as anything. Imagine, just close your eyes. Imagine the number of money that have spent in fighting Boko Haram for, for more than a decade now. For more than a decade, they have been fighting Boko Haram there. Imagine billions of dollars and human resources, human life that have been wasted. Then tell me what can you achieve from Bruno State? The answer is nothing. 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 Zero. 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 Nothing good will come out of that place. Nothing good will ever come out of that place. But they are using our effort, using your effort, using your sweat to continue to maintain that area. They, the problem they cause by themselves. Let's continue with the news. The resident told us that the bandit stormed the community around 11.30 p.m. on Tuesday and operated for over six hours. Over six hours. Over six hours. Do you hear this news in other newspaper? Do you, do you hear it in NTA? Do you hear it in NTA? Don't you have NTA in Guso? Why they didn't report it? Will Channel come and tell you this? No, 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 no. But just say that um, unknown gunmen do something somewhere within the southeast. Uh -huh. You see them, they come out putting it. These are the things that will tell us, prove to us those who hate us, that these people really hate you and I, and they don't want us to be. Irrespective of tribe or religion or whatever, they hate you for who you are. Look at what happened in Zamfara State on Tuesday, but nobody had it. We must continue to expose them. It was learned that on arrival at the village on motorcycles, the gunmen started shooting indiscriminately, resulting in the death of the victims. The disease have since been buried in Kuya Madaru town in line with Islamic rights. Deadly attacks have raged across Amfara where bandits have thrived. Farming and heading community in the state have long been terrorized by gangs who raid villagers, steal cattle, and kidnap residents for ransom. In 2019, the state government had the state government had a peace agreement with gunmen. About 15 brand new Hilux vehicle. Cash gifts were also given to leaders of the different repentant gang of bandits by governor in 2020. Are you seeing it? But in our own, devil my is killing us. We've come to that. They started the negotiation in 2019. Then in 2020, yes, we read the news now. Have you forgotten about one Awolu who repented and later returned return to the forest and they killed him? The Fulanis killed him. Why will you repent? They bought Hillock's van, they gave them some 20 million, 30 million, 10 million, given to them, and they are using it to refresh, buying bullets and all those things and fighting. But in our own place, brother, our own governors will be boasting. The Okebeke in Imo State, I'm going to bomb Bunjawa. I'm going to bomb Bunjawa. I will do a lot like this. His own local government, the area he come from. Because Fulani took what doesn't belong to him and gave to him and mandate him that you must kill your people for you to be there. Very, you need to understand. Look at an idiot, call himself devil mind. An idiot in a point state, call himself devil mind. Is the one orchestrating the killings of his own people. We will come to that. Look at an idiot in Enugu State, call himself Uguanyi. Uguanyi was responsible in attacking ESN camp in Enugu that did a very marvelous job in a particular community in Enugu State that chased the, the, the ESN in the forest to make sure that they chased out those bandits, those Fulani headsmen in that area that we are coming through the Benue's side, the, the border. They make sure they chase them. Remember one particular Fulani, uh, 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 the, the head of the gang that was a, a, illuminated that place to make sure that peace reigned. In order to maintain that peace, ESN decided to stay within that region. 
the so-called governor of Enugu State, Ugwani, the useless idiot that declared fasting after the killing of over 42 people in uh, Uzuwani, declare fasting, was the one who told the soldiers where our people are and they raided, invaded our ESN camp that were doing a very marvelous job in Enugu State. But look at the news I'm reading here. In 2019, Zamfara State Governor began to do what? They negotiate with bandits negotiating after the negotiation for some weeks or months to that uh, entered into 2020 what happened they now bought a number of hillocks van gave them some number of cash say okay well done zamfara state that are spending these millions of naira on bandits can't raise one billion naira on revenue Zamfara State can raise 1 billion Naira revenue despite the gold mining that they are doing and putting the money on their pocket. The gold mining, remember what they said the other time, my dear brother, about the gold mining. The gold mining, they said that after the, 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 the harvest, they use private jets to take it abroad. Who are doing this thing? Abu Bakr Malami, Abdul Salam Abu Bakr, Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida. Uh, them, all of them, uh, all of them, Atiku uh, Abubakar, them, all of them, all those who modern political criminals, they are the one doing those things. But in our own case, is to kill us, to continue to kill us. When we continue to tell you to jettison anything, politician is telling you, you need to understand, you need to agree with us. Wherever you see an evil politician, kill them let them die i tell you the gospel truth look at the news i'm reading here in 20 we have read this news before the writer is just refreshing just as i do my broadcast is to refresh your mind things you might have forgotten the writer is telling you then in 2020 the governor gave them hillocks and money but still the same zamfara is still on fire on ravage but on our own brother they will send the military and as it they happen now in Igbo land, killing us for no reason, killing us for no reason. Our agitation was peaceful all this while. They start using AK to punch us down, and you want us to fold our hands, and you want us to talk a diplomatic. When I'm talking diplomatic, they are killing us, being gentle, whatever. I'm being gentle, we have, and I know that if they lay their hands on me, they will not let you are a fool. When you will. When you know that if they lay even your own politician, when they lay hand on you, you are gone and you are playing gentle. I don't believe in that ideology. Fire for fire, tooth for tooth, whatever you bring, that is what will be given back to you. Short and simple, garbage in, garbage out. We must match it head on, starting with our politician, begin to deal with them. Governor of Zamfara State in 2020 bought Hilo's van with money and gave to bandits. Still, bandits are ravaging. What have they done to IPOB? What good have they ever done to Ross? Say, okay, IPOB, let's give you this and stop agitation. Nothing, if not releasing bullets of AK-47 upon us. If not throwing bullets on us. The other day in Imo State, we saw the helicopter in all hovering helicopter and we picked the bullets. Brother, the kind of bullet they are releasing in us. If you see this bullet, in fact, in fact, you will never have mercy upon whoever that signed this deal. You will never have mercy upon that person. These are the things they are using to kill us. We didn't care about that. Yaman kwa migelu was. Bro, do the bullet in there release on us. In kaa talk, I don't know whether you will reincarnate again. To tell you the kind of wickedness our own politicians are bringing to us. And you want us to keep quiet. And you want us to yoke our, still yoke ourselves with one Nigeria. That you yourself, you are a slave. It cannot happen. We are the new growth, undergrowth. We are the new generation. And we must prove indeed that we are the new generation. The new generation is to bring new things. Is to remove the old things. Yeshua said, old things have passed away. If you are a brand, if you are, if you are a born again, that old things have passed away. You are a brand new man. That is who we are now. And it's going to chakele. It will shine if we remain like this, brothers. Very, very important. Let's finish the, 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 the last sentence. But bandits, let me, let, me, let me refresh it again. He said, in 2019, the state government had a peace agreement with the gunmen. 
about 15 brand new Hilux van and the cash gift we are also giving to the leaders of different repentant gangs of bandits by the governor in 2020. A very beautiful one, but it can never happen to us. But despite all this, communities in the state are still being attacked and residents kidnapped and or killed. Very, very important. To, to curtail the banditry, the government recently placed a ban on mobile phone service. Still, it doesn't work. They are writing letters. They write letter. Give one of the uh, one they have arrested and say, go and give the letter. If you don't come back, don't worry. We'll hold this one here. <laughs> there are also restrictions of movement in some part of the state, even as market, bank, and other commercial places have been shut down. This is happening in the Northern Zoological Republic. There is no peace and there will never be peace, my dear brothers and sisters. So begin to prepare to leave the zoo. If you don't leave the zoo, get ready. The zoo will swallow you. Very, very important. Very, very important. Very, very important. Today is it. There is a press release of IPOB um, yesterday night. And um, I would like to... I would like to um, for us to read this um, for us to read it and have more understanding of um, what IPOB is all about what we have at hand our press release is very very important anytime it comes out very very important and I read Southeast governors, political allies too small in number to decide for Biafra, IPOB. This is our press release. We are the global movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, under the command and the leadership of our leader, of our able leader, Mazi Nnamdikanu. Our attention has been drawn to the laughable disgraceful statement credited to the Southeast governor where they said that Igbo did not want to leave Nigeria. They threatened to create an anti-agitation group in Southeast to checkmate IPOB and that uh, um, uh, uh, agitation they said have started. I have to prove it. There is a video we have here. They kill people in um, Ebony State. The people have to concentrate on this so that our people in Ebony State wake up. They killed people in Ebony State. They said that the people went to mortuary or whatever, according to the person who is recording it, and they killed them. These are Nigerian Al Shabaab soldiers, Nigerian repentant banditry, Nigeria repentant or de radicalized banditry, and the repentant Boko Haram in uniform. These are the people Devil Mai is trying to bring to us. That's the only thing because they, they, they are not a, 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 a secessionist group, as he said on channel television, is just to counter us. And how do you know something is countering on you? Is to go and cause problem against your name or to destroy you. Now, what they are doing is to kill innocent people in a boy state, then to say that it is or, or IPOB or ESN or whatever. That is their intention, nothing again. Nothing again. And it has started. I'm coming to that. We therefore wish to remind Southeast governors that their disgraceful plan of creating another group to checkmate IPOB is dead on arrival. The people have lost confidence in them and just as their imaginary Ebubago security outfit. On such a faceless a group can survive in Southeast. It's impossible. Anybody that put himself in Ebubago, Ebuya, and if I'm there, the day I get, I get racist in cheese. I couldn't see some cheese nail with uh, with Monday hammer. I couldn't hear any shit. Have to go there bang for three hours. Or can I can or feel it depend. Anything ever bag whoever patrolling himself is uh, you have already sentenced the death your uh, your 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 life. You have sentenced your life to death sentence. Very very important. We must know that nothing like ever bag in the eastern region, and it will never be. You it will never be. Brothers and sisters, you must know that this is our time. It is the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. Under the leadership of Mazin Namdikan, we own the eastern region now. Brother, that is why you must wake up and lift your shoulder. 
We own the land. They're not this, very soon they will run. They are just sitting in the, in the seat. Very soon, more heat we will put. They will run. Hope of them have not been in our world for some time. He just come and go, come and go. He can't. Very soon it will circulate everywhere. All the whole governors within the eastern region, they will be running. Because we will put, so we will make sure that it, the same way they make our life, look at our road. The same way they make our life miserable. These people will run away or they'll die there. That even if it's the only safer place they have in this world is Abuja. Because we will follow them to wherever. Anyone that moves himself in diaspora, in fact, that is the easiest way. Because in diaspora, you can't be moving with a security. Wah, 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 it no go work. You'll be walking alone. Then you will know that there are some dangerous men outside the country waiting for you. Waiting for anything about background is dead on arrival. Let's continue. Mm, let's continue. But we must remind Southeast governors and the Igbo political allies that they represent less than 1% of the Biafran population. The rest of over 99% people earnestly ask for Biafra and to train and the train has long left the station. <laughs> very, very important. You have missed the train. It has gone. Therefore, might just be preparing to get away from the land or you will die there is a promise is a promise just be prepared to leave our land with your family go and continue to eat the blood money you have made or you will die there you will die there i can't do anything you are an evil man killing your people just for fulani fulani can never love you fulani can never like you it is impossible they can't I know these people very well. They can't. You, so, a, a, a reasonable person is supposed to think, if you know how these people have intermingled with the Middle Belt people, Middle Belt region, if you know how they have intermingled in, in some certain system, even in belief system, and some certain things, they have intermingled, still, they are killing them at will. Middle Belt are ready to lower their shoulder to support the Fulani to the core, both a religious leader. Let me tell you something. As I'm telling you, we give you fact. We grew up in the north, do business, do we know these people travel everywhere. We are not crazy. We are telling you who they are. If they will humble themselves to them like that and see they are killing them, nothing. Nobody will be saved, not even Devil Mai or Rochas or Korocha or Ojus or Kalan. Do you know there is one seminary school in Joss? It's still there. I don't know whether they have bombed it because the seminary school is very close to Anguarugu uh, and they have been targeting to bomb that seminary school. It's called the St. Augustine Major Seminary School. It's very close to the where the enemies are staying in those days when we are still in the area. I don't know how far about the school now. That school, a lot of Igbo people who want their children to go to their school and become a reverend father. St. Augustine Major Seminary School. But for you as an Igbo man, for you as an Igbo man, for your child to scale through in that school, <laughs> you will know the whole reverend fathers, the whole plateau reverend fathers in plateau states. You have to know all of them. All of them you have to know. You meet this uh, father Gorang, he will sign for you or you say, okay, don't worry, I will call this father, I will call before your son or your child could be enrolled into that school. I'm telling you how humble, how they have served this funani, but listen, I have many friends, full any friends, those who could not take their children to foreign country to go and study. But their lahajis somehow have money, somehow, but they want their school, their children to be somehow educated more than uh, 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 other people because government school is dead as at that time. Immediately, your name is Ebelo Mohammed. They enroll you. Your name is Isha Kadis. They, that's why it's a missionary school. Oh. They will put them, they will go there and study to a certain level. Then they will go. Not that they are going to study 
to become priests just to acquire because in that school that time it was a very good school well educated well as uh, strategized you will be disciplined because that is where they trained the reverend father you no know, catholic uh, church have a number one uh, 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 credit in terms of training their priests so that is the place they they, they, they train their priests as at that time but you will see the Muslims sending their children and they will be enrolling them, enrolling them because they are one northern zoological republic. But those of us from the east who live in their town, developing building upstairs, developing the place, rendering services, goods and service to them, paying tax to the government. Before your child will enter that school, brother, I am telling you, ask now, it's not, I'm not criticizing. Before your child will enter that school, you have to you meet the whole reverend father if not the bishop himself before your that one and those people who their children could go there are akajakans the big big men the big big Igbo men akajak who are supporting the church either from saint Teresa, saint louis fatima all those kind of big big parishes but still they will enroll the not the the, the Afunani brothers there but still today they are killing them. Even that that uh, uh, school is either they have burned it or about to burn it because when we were there, the first uh, 2000 and, uh, 2002 uh, uh, September 7 crisis, we were there, there. That place was a target to destroy. So why am I saying this thing, my dear brother? Why I'm saying this is that there is no how an evil man, there is no how an evil man whom the earth will suffer and, he, and at the end of the day they will welcome him. You saw Jews of color, for example, who were so humble in the beginning when um, democracy was coming. All Jews of color was there attacking, attacking uh, um, 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 Basanjo, attacking OBJ, attacking him. We are clapping hand, not knowing that it is the not. Because the not gave Obasanjo the power, but they will still do what they do. They don't want him. They want to frustrate him by bringing Sharia in. All Jews of color was doing, doing all manner of things. All Jews of color is like an old prostitute to them. It's useless. Look at Rochas of Korocha now. They will use you when you are in the seat of power and throw you away. And if you talk, they jail you. There was an interview all Jews of color did to Channel. That, those things are the things that prompt his jailing that time. He was a kind of trying to be vocal, to speak for the Ndibo. Those are the things that prompt his jail. Look at him today. He's nobody. So I'm saying this thing, whatever the Avumai is doing, they, you will not be, they won't give you any president. You won't. You won't. But all of you, all of you, but no, we are not going to forgive you. So we'll do whatever you want to do because we must cut off their head. We must look for them and bring them down. I don't care whether you like what I'm saying or whatever, but I'm telling you what will come to pass because people's mind is what I'm speaking. We, we, we listen to people. We hear what is going on. Do you know the people that are dead? A particular community sometime in a boy state we are scraped off because of the idiot that is there. Devil mind. Because of the idiot. Let's continue with the, with the news. Let's finish the, 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 the news, our press release. It is unfortunate that the Southeast governors are the one contemplating to create anarchy in the region. Yes, because they want to form another separatist group so that we'll be fighting. They are the one causing the problem. Now, we can see the real sponsor of the festering insecurity in the region. Exactly now, they are the one doing it courtesy of their people in the north, telling them what to do. Do this, do that. We are watching them. Now, it is obvious that the Southeast governors, in collaboration with the wicked Nigerian security agents are behind the fake group wrecking havoc across Southeast in their desperation to uh, implicate uh, IPOB. They are the one. And those of you that they are using, you don't know indirectly, send somebody. They will be using you. Using you, you don't know. Maybe give you data on your phone. Somebody call you. They say they give data and they are sharing data. You don't know where the money is coming from. And you will be there talking rubbish. Somebody will be controlling you. His name is Adak. His name, his name is Adama. You think that it is with you. Telling you IPOB, one family. You don't know that you, they have bought you. And you will be against the holy people of God. Who are fighting assiduously. Just because you have a personal hatred in what we are doing. Or into, into some certain people, I mean. You don't like them. 
you must be careful. You must be careful because you are you are supporting what is killing us. Your heart is good, quite all right, but you are ignorant because of your Igbo egoness. They will give them money. Say they are sharing your data, and you come to Facebook and be talking rubbish against your people, contributing what is destroying your own people, because that that is what they are planning. If Devil Mai will come and tell you that another a group a secessionist group will rise up to counter, is to tell you what they have in in mind, and it has started to counter how is to kill their own people, then target us. That is all. You don't need any other interpreter or analyst to tell you much on this. Your brain will just tell you the truth. And it has started in a point state now. As I'm talking to you, they are killing people at will. Soldiers are shooting. The clips is everywhere. If you have not received it, join some certain WhatsApp groups. You see where it's being shared. And I will play one at the end of this. I will play one. Let's continue. We are watching them. Now it is obvious that the Southeast governors in collaboration with the wicked Nigeria security agents are behind the fake group wrecking havoc across the Southeast in their desperate to implicate IPOB. Instead of setting up a sincere regional security outfit like Amotiku, they created the mischievous and the imaginary Ebubagu to do the hatch job for them. All this is in their futile effort to, to demonize IPOB and untimely uh, scuttle the growing agitation for Biafra restoration, which they consider injurious to their political interests. I have a good idea. I have a good idea. I have a good idea. I have a good idea, brother. They will see. Even politicians are useless now. Even only they sit at home. Don't you know that there is a call for them in Abuja to stop the sit at home? <laughs> sit at home that the, the, the leadership of IPOB is not even into it. The, the regular one, the people decide on their own to do. They have been, OB are not came out and make a evangelism. They have been talking. Soludo told you that they are losing 19.6 billion. They are saying all manner of things. If what is left now is for them to come out and kneel down and beg. Devil Mai is trying now to instigate Igbo versus Igbo, telling you that um, um, a boy state people are being marginalized by the Igbos, that they don't have anything, that the bigger Igbo side is trying to throw. These things are brain, brothers that are listening. This thing is just brain because they were mandated. Say, if you tell, if you claim, they told them in Abuja, if you claim that you are in charge, stop the sit at home, stop, make the people to stop it. But it's impossible. Impossible. Listen, everything has time. There is a time to rain by a particular time. When that time finishes, anyhow, you cannot excel because your time has gone. The time of evil is expiring. They told them to stop. That is why watch every statement that is coming out of the mouth of devil mind. Because he is the he is the kingpin. He is the kingpin. He is the connecting rod of every evil that is going on as the chairman of the Southeast Governors. Devil mind is there. The last the latest thing he told the boy people is that they should come out and do their normal businesses. That the other evils that are, are frustrating them, seeing them as lower evil. Seeing them as lower evil, trying to instigate brothers and sisters in Ebony State, don't listen to that. It is this them, the same political group that divide that destroy Igbo. Some of the Igbo are in Benue, some Igbo are in Kogi, some Igbo are all, all over the, wherever they are the one and they are so called on who's supposed to come and unite us. They corrupt everywhere, everywhere is corrupt. You must not listen to all those things because they are just trying to instigate hate between me and you. You will not hurt me and we start because what they need is just for us to fight so that they will grow. That has been the only tactics the wicked one has been using from day one. Divide and rule. How do you divide? You put problem in their midst. They start fighting themselves. No matter how strong they are, immediately they start fighting themselves. You have bring them down. We are giving you lectures, teaching you by the grace of God to understand things. The one you know or the one you have forgotten or the one you don't know. We must know that. So that when you hear anything from their mouth, don't follow them. Moreover, why will an evil person listen to devil mind? Why? Why will you listen to devil mind that never dressed like evil man? Every time you hear that idiot, oh you dan chicky, oh you white, huh? 
to prove to, to tell you who he is pleasing. He just wants to please them. Why will you listen to such an idiot? Why will you listen to such a fool? That man is evil and need to be illuminated. Need to cut off his head. An evil man completely who hurt his own people. Let's finish the, 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 the news. What happened in Imo State yesterday was a confirmation of strong suspicions uh, all along with the selfish political allies and the security agency are behind the current path of insecurity in the Southeast. The world is still in shock of, the, of that act where Nigerian police killed Nigerian, <laughs> Nigerian police killed um, DSS as a non gunman who is terrorizing innocent citizens and tagged himself as ESN and IPOB. Comrade Emma Powerful, Media Publicity Secretary for IPOB. I hope we have had that particular incident. It happened in Owere. It happened in Owere. A, 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 a uniform man killed a, a, another uniform, unknown uniform man. Uh, uh, in a mufti, disguised himself uh, 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 as a unknown gunman, killing people. Then this one now come out and thought that it is a, is a <laughs> is an IPOB person. He gunned him down. At the end of the day, discovered that he is from the DSS. They send a different person. When we are telling you things, you think we don't. Nigerian news will not do it, and that is why we must listen to our radio. We will tell you the truth. That is why they have been looking any means to stop Radio Biafra. Which is impossible. One no guy, another man, man, is impossible to stop Radio Biafra. Very, very important, and we must continue to expose the zoo. We must continue to expose the zoo. They must release the Chiwetalago. Chiwetalago must release. And I talk to all the whole actors and actresses. If you people know what you are doing, this is the time you need to rise. Those of you that have been in silence, you don't want to talk. You don't want to talk. Maybe because of one or two issues. This is the time you have an opportunity to make sure you advocate for this man. This man is a brave man. Listen, they said he is uh, what I read something in a military Facebook. They had their headquarters. They said he's uh, proscribed uh, this day. This is Biafran flag. Are you telling me now that if Ujuku is still alive or Philip Perfume is still alive and he put the Biafran flag in his house, you will come and arrest him? Even if you pro proscribe the IPOB, the flag belongs to a particular country, China, uh, China Chebe Road. He said there was a country. The, the flag belongs to them. The, uh, 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 the flag we are using is the flag of Biafran people. Is the flag of Biafran people, whether existing or not existing. So for somebody to dress in that, moreover, is a costume. I just see it that the man is just maybe they're acting a movie or whatever, try to shoot a movie. Well, the lawyers know what to do on that. But the area I'm trying to go is that other uh, um, um, actors and actresses in the Zoological Republic of Nigeria need to wake up at this time to defend their own. The injustice is too much. They are coming, they are killing. The man did not disturb anybody. He's inside his vehicle, moving, they stop him, pull him, drag him like a common criminal. Somebody who has made fame in the Zoological Republic contribute greatly in the industry that they themselves could not fund. Now, this is the way they are paying them back. Other, um, what do you call it, um, movie stars have to rise up. You people need to talk to make sure that that man is free and being compensated. He must, there must be compensation. That matter must go to court. They must take it to court and the court must judge it uh, uh, um, justfully. And there must be a compensation that must pay, not just compensation to say it and hear it on the pages of newspaper, but at the end of the day, the person will not receive it. It must be given to that man. And other actors need to rise up at this time. They need to rise up and speak the truth. The pain is too much. Look at your fans. They are the ones suffering. You may excel. You may be. You, you might have succeeded at a certain level in life. And speaking to Zoologian actors now, you might have succeeded in some certain aspect of life at this time. You can buy petrol uh, uh, at any rate. Even if it is 1,000 naira per liter, you can still pay and drive your car. But think of those people who are watching your movie, your comedies, all those things that are supporting you, making you to be there. Think of them. How will they survive? They can survive in this um, unstable economy, in this decayed and dying economy. And they look upon you to do something. 
they look upon you. Moreover, the government is not supporting you. It is your effort and your talent you are using to survive, to be at that level. You are not like a politician like Obiano, who is a billionaire today, after ruining, after he ruined his state for eight years. You people are not like Rocha Sokorocha, who is bragging that he's a billionaire. He can use tip and bring money. If you watch those clips, because he destroyed his state for eight years. You are not like Oju Zokal or Theodore Oju. You people made your own money by your own effort, by your own talent. So why will you be afraid? Why will you be afraid? Why will you be afraid? Why will you stay moot? Because if all of you will rise up, you will subdue all these persecutions that is happening to your own fans. Remember that these people are your fans. And this note, you need to wake up to make sure you speak and uh, justice is being done on the life or in the in this matter of um, Mahandran and the dehumanizing Chiwetelago. Chiwetelago is a very uh, a funny star that everybody know how you will not like that man's movie. And know how, no matter how serious you are, when you watch his movie, you must laugh. You must smile. If you just cool down to watch everything he's saying, that is his talent displaying it. A lot of people, their BP will go down on that moment. Their BP will go down. They will forget one or two things that are disturbing them. Now look at how Nigeria is paying him back. Because he did not say anything IPOB. He just put the flag. The flag belongs to Biafra. His father is a Biafra. That man might have born during the Civil War. He could be a Biafran. So he is using the flag that belongs to and as I, as I read some certain uh, people's uh, um, um, articles, even in the in, in, in United States, you know that they have, they, uh, they, they, they have a problem in U.S., a secessionist problem, dividing North and South America. They have their flag. Up to today, some people in America are still waving those flags. Go to Canada also. They have, they have a, the, the, the issue. There are people who are still pushing, who are still pushing for some certain areas or region in Canada to break away. They are still moving their flag. They are still moving their flag. Sometimes they move about, do one or two patrol to prove to the world that they are still alive. They are still there. Nobody is arresting them. Nobody is doing anything to them. But in the zoo, it's a different thing because you allow Fulani hegemony to take over. Actress of the Zoological Republic, all the whole actors, movie stars, whatever, you people need to rise up for your own person. Chiwetelago. Chiwetelago is innocent. Chiwetelago is innocent in any way you put it. Moreover, that thing is not clothed. It's a costume. I see it as a costume. Maybe they are going to shoot uh, a particular movie or whatever. Chiwetelago is not in a protest. Perhaps you say he's leading crowd, con constituting news and as you people will put it. This, that. These are just the Al-Shabaab soldiers you have told to do anything. So their brain is not working. So movie stars need to stand up for this. Very, very important. This is Radio Biafra Osa Service 2 coming to you from the platform of Radio Biafra London under the leadership of one and only Onyendu Mazi Namdekano, Omadike, one of Biafra land. Mazi Namdekan is the only incorruptible leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. He's the director of Radio Biafra and her television. And he's the commander of the armies of Biafra, the greatest man living on this planet Earth. Very, very important. You must know that. And um, we will be right back in a moment. Let us see one or two things uh, we can do. Let's see one or two things we can do. We will get back. Freedom, come on, send me fit to kill a man. Yeah, 
Service to coming to you from the platform of Radio Biafra London under the leadership of one and only Onion Do Mazen Nam De Kano, Amadike, one of Biafra Land. Mazen Nam De Kano is the only incorruptible leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. He's the director of Radio Biafra and her television. He's the commander of the armies of Biafra, the greatest man living on this planet Earth. And this broadcast is coming to you from me, a servant of the Most High. A servant of the indigenous people of Biafra and a proud disciple of our leader in the person of Mwa Chineke. Let us come to the uh, issue of Devil Mai. We all remember his interview. Suddenly, Elohim pop out their secret. I don't think that Devil Mai knows when he said that. Because if you calculate it well, if it is you, you wouldn't have said that. You would say that something is on the pipeline that they are planning to stop IPOB or whatever. But suddenly, he, the truth pop out. And that is where we hold Devil Mai and his cohort, the entire Eastern governors. This is where we hold them. This is where we hold them. And I want to prove to you that indeed, that a counter secessionist group from the southeastern governors have started. Listen to this clip and as we dissect it now. Listen. <laughs> It has started. These people, this clip, if you have watched it, just as I'm being told, 
happened in Ebony State. Devil Mai have started his business immediately. Devil Mai have started his business. They have started. These people, their mom died, and they took the cops to a, 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 a morgue. Why coming out? The eyewitnesses are the people who are recording it. They saw the military people with uh, their vlogs and they just shoot at will and they kill this family. Because Elohim, first of all, revealed what is coming. He didn't know when he said that. They have planned this thing to use what? To use the military as their counter uh, uh, secessionist group over IPOB to begin to kill Igbo people. To begin to kill Igbo people and target IPOB. Then tomorrow you hate me. We start hating ourselves. Say, ah, uh ah, I check my yana cho biafra. Biafra in a cho vuzika we busi bo wine. Imago those kind of statement we used to. Is it how you're going to get your biafra? You are killing yourself, you are killing one another. Look at it here now. This one happened in a Boeing state, courtesy of Devil Mai. Remember the news I read yesterday. Devil Mai said that in their marketplace, everybody must come out there and they will send the troop to guide them, which I told you the secret, how it's going to work. If you ever put your head in that market on the day of sit at home with the troops that he will send there, listen to what is going to happen. Suddenly, at the middle of the day, there will be sporadic shooting and people will be rushing. They will tell you that unknown gunmen have come to attack the troop. On that note, then, devil mice, al-shabaab, fulani, devil my then, de-radicalized uh, uh, bandit, devil my repentant Boko Haram and Iswap in Nigerian military uniform will begin to slaughter you at a will. Brother, you must agree, you must believe what we are telling you. We love you, you are my brother, I'm your brother, you are my sister, I'm your brother. We love you and that is why we are telling you, giving you all these secrets. To jettison anything these people are giving, telling you. To jettison it, even when they call you, don't go. Remember how they destroy some of our ESN group in, in, in Ebony State? Because they call them for negotiation. Most of you, when you hear say, Governor, call me on phone. Obiahagika, Obiahagika, Ihedi, you feel that now you have arrived. Then you go. The governor is negotiating with us. Isha Zagi. You reach in there, they will kill you. This is how they destroy all our principal officers, all our comrades in a boy state. The game has started. God is a very wonderful God. That is why we must continue to pray to him. The way he revealed this attack from devil mind's mouth was marvelous. He said a counter secessionist group will rise up in the east that will counter IPOB. Brother, you understand the meaning of something to counter. If something is coming to oppose me, it will do. It will come in any direction. It can destroy something somewhere, target my name, so that people will be against me, or I will be look. They will be looking for me, or he will come direct to me to attack me direct. And that thing attacking me in what I'm doing is not ready to do that thing that I'm doing. This thing pop out of the mouth of the evil man, the beast in a boy state called. Dev Umoru Umai. Dev Umoru Umai is the one who said it and it has started. A family in a born state took the dead body of their parents, um, their mother, they are about to a mortuary. On their way coming home, the military just opened fire on them. The Nigerian repentant the Boko Haram, the Nigerian de-radicalized bandits, the Nigerian Al Shabaab in uniform of Nigerian military soldiers open fire on this innocent family and they are dead. They have to take their corpse now back to the same morgue where they went and dropped their mother. Brothers and sisters, it's for us to understand all these things we are telling you is the truth. Listen to what we are telling you. Follow our instruction. That is the only way. Politicians must die. Igbo politicians must be killed. Igbo politicians must be killed. We will kill them. Brother, no, no, me. No, me. It has entered. They are, they are evil. They have been doing to us, has penetrated down to my bone marrow. We must start to begin to eliminate them. Listen, all this Anambra election, whether election or no election, brother, don't worry about the election something. 
whether you vote or you don't vote, they have the power there. They use him or state as an example. Use Obiano second tenor as an example. When Obiano, we did it diplomatically, say boycott election, so that our leader explain it. If on the day of the election, they now see that the number of accredited votes that's supposed to qualify somebody to be in office could not, then the election will not be accepted. But despite our 100% election by court, Obiano still in the office and he has finished his second tenure. Use him or state as an example. He must state Hope Zodemba is number four. He, he couldn't achieve anything. Hope Zodemba is number four on the roll. Tanko Zubairo, Tanko Eruplen Tona of Sharia Court. Fix him there. He is now the governor. So anything election, whether you say no election or no election, this, that, you don't need to waste your time there. We know what we are planning. We know what is, we won't tell them, brother. You, 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 they can declare state of emergency and fix somebody. It has been signed and sealed that Andy Oba will be the next because they have vowed that Anamba will become APC. If you don't know, they have vowed. Forget about all that gubernatorial candidates. All of them knew what they are doing is just to do some formality, election political formalities. So that at the end of the day, is either they give him uh, uh, the uh, Ministry of uh, Agriculture or Education. If I know, may take a Ministry of uh, uh, Land and Survey or whatever. That is why you see they are doing all these things. At the end of the day, they will fix the idiot that couldn't fix their family. They will buy families. They will fix him there. That is what is going on. Nothing again, brother. So forget about the election. We have to look for the head of all these politicians. In our court here, when we cut it off, then the Aboki in in Kano, Aboki in Sokoto, Aboki in Abuja will not see any person he will tell to come and do something. Then they will look for us. You know they are afraid of us. They are afraid of IPOB. They are afraid of Radio Biafra. They are afraid of us, brother. Then I believe that time negotiation will come on a round table. The truth will come out. But most of us don't listen. We must have this understanding. It's not everything that will come on radio to talk. But I believe we are giving you insight. We must look for Devil Mai. Devil Mai has started his killing in Ebony State. He has started his killing. And he must not be forgiven. Listen, at this level, any place, any woman is being attacked, any Biafran is being attacked. Even if it is take us one year to revenge, we must. We must. Go and ask the useless, uh, useless uh, is it Canada American um, professor? Who they bought, they gave him money. One idiot like that called himself a professor. I love what our people are doing. Some of our professors are rising up and attacking him back, returning it back to him. And I believe he will lose his job. He will lose his job. This is the level we have to flow now. When APN, that is, we, we, we will prove to you that indeed we belong. Very, very important. This is Radio Biafra as a service to coming to you from the platform of Radio Biafra London under the leadership of one and only Onion Du Mazin Namdekano, Ohamadike, one of Biafra land. Mazin Namdekano is the only incorruptible leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, is the director of Radio Biafra and her television, and is the commander of the armies of Biafra. The greatest man living on this planet, Ed, you must know that. And uh, this broadcast is coming to you from me, a servant of the Mosai, a servant of the indigenous people of Biafra, and a proud disciple of our leader in the person of Mwachineke. We will be right back in a moment as we have one or two analysis in Hausa language. Then our line will be open. We need to discuss and... Um, And how to look give suggestion against him, Heavenly Father, from left and right, there and night to Lord God Jehovah. Him. 
trained them and they have succeeded. They have bribed them psychologically. They bought cars, give them money. Pump money into Anglican and Catholic. Right now we are telling you. Then, if anything they are going to do now, they use the church premises to do their things. If you go there, I will be back in a moment. Being interviewed, I tell you do or don't do. Listen, my dear brother. Very, very important. I know why I'm emphasizing on that. But on Devil Mind's issue, we must be careful of anything coming out of the Southeast governors. Igbo, a fuleful governors. We must be careful on it. We must be very careful. If they call you for anything, they may not tell you that it is the this uh, uh, sessionist the group they want to create, but they will target a different thing, put you there, give you money, and you'll be stupidly doing it. Listen, we have already succeeded in every ramification in Biafra restoration spiritually. If you try it, you will die. Just as a bag is, is dead. You, if you try it, you will die. That is certain. That is certain. You will die the way devil mine and his family will die. Because none of them will go scot-free. None of them. These are wicked men and women. Come to Ohanez and Dibu. Where are they? Ohanez, where are you? Ohanez and Dibu, where are you? Hariwa Elders Forum now is suggesting for the federal government pushing with a memo right to the Attorney General of the Federation that the Constitution of the Zoological Republic of Nigeria need to be implemented in order to arrest every violence within the part of the country, forgetting their own part that, uh, that is the origin and the source of violence. They did not see anything, say anything about that, but in your own, because you are an Ezendibo. You so-called Hanez and Debo have been compromised. You can't withstand, you can't stand face to face and talk to your fellow elders in the north. You can't. Everywhere you see on Hanez, everywhere you see we in Debo, it is begging, begging, making peace. That is the level they have reduced us. And that is the level of a slave. A slave will always try to intervene, become a sacrificial object to do what? To make peace. We must understand the level our leaders have reduced us to. Because if you continue to look upon them, it is what they concluded, what they, no, the, the, the thing they play, what they are playing is what you continue to play. As I told you, stop looking. If you are from a boy state, stop looking at your governor. The clothes he wears, everything he does is, is full of me. You will follow him in that way. So, Ohanes and Dibo now cannot say anything. They cannot do anything. Because they have been compromised. That is why the new Ohanes and Dibo, which is um, Arewa for, uh, uh, a Northern Elders Forum now, is deciding what will happen in Anambra State. Very, very important. Come to Anambra issue. Let us make it very clear now. The game they are playing in Anambra now, trying to use the state of emergency, which we have been warning our people not to go deeper on anything, election or no election, allow them to play their game, allow them to do what they want to do, because whether you intercept or you did not intercept, you participate or you did not participate, at the end of the day, they will push it to the court. Remember that aeroplane turner, ton -ton turner is there, the Sharia court man, he will decide whatever they want. So we understand this game and we are telling our people not to be violence in that area of election and whatever and whatever. Now you see they started killing themselves. Had it been we come out, they would have targeted to rush. Now they have declared a state of emergency. They will use the state of emergency to rig the election, to do whatever they do and fix APC and they have succeeded in what they are doing. Then what is your strategy? What is your plan? Those of you that were chanting it, hammering on it, playing the games, when we ask you, don't. What, is, what are you going to do now? Because with the level of the troop, they, they are there. There is nothing you can do. There is nothing you can do. Because we are not going for any war with them. But we have our own strategies to use to restore Biafra. What is your plan? What is your strategy? Your strategy is zero. Zero. You don't have any plan. Then, listing their game now with the religious leader. That is why this church, 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 church of a thing. I'm not against church. I'm a religious person. I'm a religious person. But it pains me when the church is not playing the real role. When the church has been sold their soul to this end time demon. It pains me so much. Listen, I respect the word of God. 
I respect the word, but I don't respect a corrupt man, irrespective of whatever. Don't expect me to honor you in that way. Mostly at this time, if somebody like Arch Desmond Tutu could stand with his people during their own liberation, who are you? Who are you? What they have planned, their games now is to use religious leaders. Mostly in Anambara State now, you know that it is Catholic and Anglican. They are drawing those bishops now. They are drawing them and they have succeeded. They have bribed them psychologically. They bought cars, give them money. Pump money into Anglican and Catholic. Right now we are telling you. Then, if anything they are going to do now, they use the church premises to do their things. If you go there and say no election and whatever, then they will tag you that IPOP is destroying church. It's a religious violence. Then we will have a bad image. The Christian community in the whole world will be surprised that we are attacking the Christian community. Then the danger in this thing, listen very well, the danger in this game now that they have put in their table, we are giving you intels. The danger now is that the Boko Haram will strike the church in Biafra land. In the name, in the disguise, the Boko Haram, the de-radicalized bandits in, that have been recruited in the Nigerian army, they will attack them in the church there in the name of um, IPOB is the one try to obstruct the election. You have seen the statement of the Arewa, Arewa elders, the northern elders. You have seen their statement that they want to retrieve the part, they want to retrieve eastern region from the hands of IPOB. You see? Then, because we are not going to fight, we are not going to disturb them, we, have, we are making it very clear. We are not going to. But we are telling you what will happen. These are their games. They will use some of these soldiers you see now in form of unknown gunmen. They target whatever. Then attack what is in the church. Maybe even kill one of those bishops they, they have bought. They will just kill one of them and their reverend fathers. You see these two church, Anglican and the Catholic. In Anambara. That is the people they are going to use now. Then, they will also, in order to rubbish us completely, despite they will succeed in their things using the church, they will now cause problem in one of the church by themselves in order to tarnish us. And you, they will kill. Your name, they will spoil. They will succeed in their games. You understand? We are making it very clear for us to understand this thing. That is why some of the time, you see when I started, I say, when we ask you to stop, stop. Talk, talk, don't talk, don't talk. But when you go out openly in that way, you can cause a, a damage that may take another time to restore back. These people are working, they have silenced, no any political, everybody wants the election to be old. They don't care about our leader. They don't care. Nobody's talking about them. You saw, you had a fine, but talk all the rubbish he said, but he could not say his own brother in jail because they are the one who contributed money. All of them are the one, all these billionaire, illiterate billionaires we have, illiteracy. And the Fulani will purposely make them billionaire out of the illiteracy so that their, their brain cannot function. You just say we have money, billions everywhere, but their brain is zero. Zero. They, they did not mention anything about our leader to be released. Their own brother, their own flesh and blood. So what am I trying to make clear here, brother? Understand the game. When they will be using churches for all those things, they will tell you if you, you won't, they will put it in this way, that they go for church Thanksgiving or church or they attended mass or whatever, then IPOB come and attack them. Then they will try to give us bad name. They will try to give us bad name. Then from that bad name, they will also conduct their election and do their needful. So that they may tarnish our image global and internal. And you yourself, because you are so close to your church, you love your church so much, then you will be against us. I'm not against you loving your church. But understand the game they are trying to use your reverend father, your bishop, to play. 
your reverence, church is good. Church, if you read the manuscript of the church, the doctrines of some churches, the, the ideas of is very wonderful. But the problem is the people who are piloting the affair of the church. The pastors, the reverend, the deacons, the whatever is the problem. If you read the Bible, it's very good. It's a good idea there, but it is human being that is being given to. That is why you will not be against the things of God, but to be against those people who are messing it up. Why will your so called, you didn't you see the meeting? They invited the religious leader. And this religious leader, they know that it is during election that they normally gain things. After election, they go and they collected. As I'm talking to you now, they have bribed your bishops. Buy brand new cars, give to them, pump money into their church account. They will not talk. They are not going to talk. And because they know that uh, uh, you nobody have interest in the politicians again. We have destroyed them. We have exposed them. Now, they, because they are working hand in hand with your politicians, politicians and religious leaders, they know that there are still some element of love and truth in the religious aspect. They are going to use them now. They are going to use them now to continue with their evil. They are going to use them now to continue with their evil. Very, very important, brother. This is the game. This is the latest game that is about to unfold. This is the latest game that is about to unfold. I must make it very clear to us. So that you need to question some certain rallies, some certain uh, mass gatherings, some certain whatever religious things, they will tell you that they are having crusade or revival in your church at this time. You people need to question it. Religious leaders are also the problem we are facing now. The problem we are facing now, these are the people. Very, very important. They have bribed them in an embarrass. At now we are talking. All your bishop, pope, all your bishop, uh, reverend, uh, uh, whatever their names, uh, in the, those in Catholic Church and in Anglican Church, so that they will use them to conduct the Kangaroo Anambara election. When they conducted it, then they will install this puppet of APC uh, uh, and the Uba, and they will install him, and that's all. They continue doing their things. We are telling you what is on ground. And they will attack church. They will attack one of your church, probably kill one of your reverend fathers, either Anglican or Catholic, then in order to destroy our name. We are telling you what is on ground. I told you that anything they plan is either before or after they would come to our... They, they are surprised now as we are telling them all these things. They are surprised. Even the so-called bishops that attended, that are following them, don't know that some of them are even the target. They would like to kill them. They will send their Al-Shabaab soldiers in form of unknown gunmen to do what? To shoot one of them or two of them, shoot sporadically. We are telling you what is going to happen in Anambara. Cure ED. Cure ED. This is the plan of the Federal Republic of the Zoo in Anambara State. As at now, we are telling you. It is down. It is done. It is signed. It is sealed. So that you will be careful of what is going to happen in order to tarnish our image. They said they want to retrieve Eastern region. They want to retrieve it back from IPOB. There is no any other way they will do it if not church. The only last hope of the people of the Eastern region is their church. And you know that Eastern region of the Zoological Republic is predominantly Catholic and Anglican. Pentecostal are just bringing up somehow. Pentecostal are just bringing up. But Catholic and Anglican still have the highest population and that is why they are using the Nai Bishop. Uh -huh. The Nai Bishop. Uh -huh. The Nai Bishop. Uh -huh. That is why they are using them. That's why I don't have respect for them. Don't see anything to respect on there. I respect the word of God. I respect the grace upon them. I respect, but still me respect them. For what reason? For what reason? When it comes to our thing, they hate us. It's, it's, it, for me, it's nothing. After all, it's one of the bishops that put on his uh, Facebook that Nam Dekano was arrested in Brazil with the woman. This, that. He's a bishop. He didn't know anything. He thought it was true. Let her on. 
So we are telling you, my dear brothers, what is on fold, what is on, the, on, the, what is on ground. Very, very important. Very, very important. This is Radio Biafra Alpha Service 2 coming to you from the platform of Radio Biafra London under the leadership of one and only Union Du Mazi Nam the Kano Hamadike one of Biafra Land. We are still streaming live on this platform of Radio Biafra London. Very, very important. I heard that um, there is something in Olo. These people are still attacking in Olo. They are still attacking in Olo. They will die in Olo. They will die in Olo. But the thing is that we need the head of Okebeke. Everybody should look for the head of this man. This man is the one causing the problem everywhere. There are evil people that are not supposed to exist. The more they keep on moving, the more people are dying. I heard that there are still problem crisis now in Olo, and you know that it will fall on the head of the innocent people courtesy of one useless man and that is why that man need to die anybody close to him need to kill him even if it is the wife or the children they need to poison their father to die that man is evil you are targeted now because of that man I, i'm even talking to the family member whether he's your brother kill hope or them he's not he's not supposed to leave he is the problem in emo state he's the one engineering and he want to transfer it to anambara and they are succeeding they have succeeded. They have bought your reverend fathers and your bishops. They are, this is evil. That man is evil. Fulani molded evil in him. And that is what is spreading. Try to spread it within the southeast states. We must understand this thing. There is crisis in all. We will be right back in a moment. And um, um, after we we'll have our own analysis um, in Hausa language, then we will open our line. For all is bombing, but they have it what is not good, but we have come, we are the undergrowth. We will make sure that all of you, the old ones, we make sure that we deal with you unless you will repent. Very, very important. This is Radio Biafra House Service 2 coming to you from the platform of Radio Biafra London under the leadership of one and only Union Du Mazi Namdekan Ahmadike, one of Biafra Land. I want also to speak on this news before I round up. Very important report. is a, is a write up somebody posted, and I need to read it and explain to us the sinister that is about to happen, the evil they are trying to bring, but we must not be afraid of them. Remember the prophecy of Ohamadike, they will die in our land, but Nigeria is joking, they are foolish, they will come to attack us, but their backyard is empty. Very, very important. Listen to this. An army insider, a Christian soldier, has revealed that the intention behind the launching of the army operation, codenamed Operation Golden Down, in the whole southeast was beyond what we can uh, what we can envisage he said that 90 percent of soldiers to be deployed to the southeast are the so-called repentant boko haram terrorists while the other 10 percent are drawn from nigel and chad I hope we are listening. This is an insider giving us the, 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 the news, the information. Very, very important. The soldier you are seeing now, the 300 troops, they say about 300 troops have been released, pushed to the southeast. But these are not real Nigerian soldiers. We keep on lamenting. We keep on telling you that uh, Nigerian soldiers have been infiltrated by Al-Shabaab, by de-radicalized bandits, and by repentant Boko Haram. And this is the time their admission will start. This is the time because they want, they, they are recruiting those people to use them against us. I hope we are listening and we are understanding. So this is an insight. This is an insight from the Zoological Republic military person telling us what is happening. The remaining 10% of the soldiers are from Nigel. Remember that there is no difference between the northern Nigeria and the Nigel, uh, uh, the, other, the neighboring country called Nigel. That is why Buhari will spend $2.9 billion constructing a railway station from the north to, the, to Nigel for no reason. Something that cannot yield an economy. Something that cannot support the economy because they have their religion. They are the same. They are the same. 
do I even told you that his cousins and whatever are in Nigel? What's, what, what, what's our business with that? Are there no Yoruba people in, in, in Benin Republic, in, 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 in um, uh, what do you call it, in Ghana and other places? Does it mean that they will take their money and go and give them? But this is what is happening in the Northern Zoological Republic. Now, they are paying them back as Nigeria give them. They are paying by supplying their soldiers to come and do the same thing they did during the Civil War. Both Nigel and Chad, their soldiers is already down in our land. And these are armies of darkness. And they must be eliminated. Very, very important. Nobody should joke with these people. That is why we are telling you to be prepared. You must not be afraid of them. Don't be afraid of them. They are human. As I always say, they bleed. That thing they want to use to destroy you will as well destroy them. But they don't have it in mind. They thought that they are all operating under authority. Authority that have been dissolved in the spirit realm. That is why they will be crushed. They will be destroyed. But it's good you are filled with this information to know what is going on then. Be ready to crush them themselves. We must not be afraid of them because their intention is to use the, the foot soldiers, the cow, the, the headsmen to destroy us. ESN came and put a stone to that. Now they are trying to fight the last battle to use officially the military power to destroy us. Courtesy of our politician. That is why when you see a politician from Igbo land, somebody like Ike Kremat that was talking rubbish. I don't know why our youth are so, why not use stone to stone him dead in that place that he was just talking rubbish. He was just talking rubbish. Look at your so-called, uh, look at your so-called uh, Igbo governors. Look at what they are communicating. They did not mention anything like our leader. They did not. What they are so concerned is about the sit at home, sit at home, to stop it. Nothing like uh, to free our leader and all those things. They are just covering. These people are just trying to play a game they will play and succeed in their thing and destroy us. That is why I keep on telling you, don't hope on politicians, they are evil. Look at what is going on in the land. They're suffering everything. Now, Soludo is telling us that 19.6 billion naira is being lost every week in, a, in Anambra because of sit at home. So, Anambra state govern, government is realizing this money every week, but they cannot have a good road. Have you ever think of that? Some people have been on salary in Anambra state. But look at the huge amount of money Soludo is telling us that they are losing every week. Look at the huge amount of money. For you, where, who, where is this money? In the pocket of the so-called politician who have already agreed with the federal government to bring what? To bring the golden down to your state, to your area, to your locality, my dear brother. That is why when you see somebody like an idiot, a fool, a buffoon, a monkey, a useless man, a demonic man like Ike Kwemada, talking rubbish in the public, brother, why not you react if we are there? He will not come to diaspora again to come and eat New Year Festival because they have dealt with him and he knows that he's a target to come out and talk rubbish in order to water your spirit down so that he can do, they, they, they can penetrate us. They can penetrate us. It's not going to work and it's not going to happen. Let us be prepared and get ready to do this thing once and for all. Do not love this life so much when you are fighting. Remember what Yeshua said. If you love your life, you will lose it. But if you give it out, you will gain it. That is how things work. And do not be afraid of these people. We will deal with them. They are coming. According to this article that I'm just reading and, and analyzing, the remaining 10% is from Nigel and Chad. And they are already in our land. The 90% of the other soldiers are the Janjaweed, the de-radicalized bandits, the repentant Boko Haram and Iswap. These are the people in our land presently. A Christian inside uh, Nigerian soldier is reporting this thing to us. And we must, we must get prepared. Nobody is coming to help you. Nobody is coming to help you. No America, no Israel, no Canada. Nobody is coming. No soldier is coming to help you. You and I will help ourselves. It happened in Ambazonia. Ambazonia dealt with them. Today, Cameroon is afraid of them. Both they are so-called France. They are afraid of them. Brother, let's believe in what Elohim has deposited in us. And let us use it to move on. Who are these people? They are criminals. First of all, the politicians that are keeping quiet, keeping mood, agreeing, nodding head for them. These days, politici our own politicians are afraid to come and speak anyhow in the public because they know that we are woken. Then what they do in the secret is to go and nod head positively for them. We will start with anything that is available. Very, very important. Listen, if you don't fight, you will die. It's better you fight. Maybe you win or you die. It's better. 
it's better. This is the time. The armies of the darkness are there, and these people are ninety percent de-radicalized Boko Haram, de-radicalized bandits, uh, um, repentant Boko Haram and Iswap, and the ten percent Chadians and Nigerians soldiers, terrorists, Al Shabaab in our land. And we are not going to relent. We have prayed. Elohim has released the grace. The duty is for us to march them head on, irrespective of whatever that is going to happen. Listen, my dear brothers, as I'm analyzing and telling us, according to the, uh, uh, the army chief, they, they, they said that they need to recruit more soldiers. Do you know the reason why? They don't have reserve. This is the only last soldier they have. This is the only last soldier the zoo have. And they are pushing it towards the south is where their oil wells are and the people they want to destroy and take over their land listen abuja may be invaded abuja may be invaded because when it happened nobody would defend them this is the last defense they are not supposed to deploy all these soldiers but for the for their foolishness and so hamadika have predicted that while they are coming down the the the, the, the enemy will crush them from the north there these things are going to happen, so we don't need all to be the whole money we are looted also... by Obi Anno. All the whole money we are looted by Kwan Kwaso. All the whole money we are looted by Atahiru. All the whole money we are looted by Babankida, by uh, Abdul Salam Ababaka. All of them by Moazu. All the whole money we are looted by these criminals. That is why we are telling you that the zoo has come to an end because they themselves are the one destroying it gradually listen to us and follow our ways so that you will not die while Nigeria is being collapsed listen to what we are telling you and this is the time listen to us, you may not follow us but pay attention to what we are telling you, that is what will save you very, very important this is Radio Biafra House Service 2, coming to you from the platform of Radio Biafra London, under the leadership of Onyendu Mazi Namdekano one of your friend land and on that note i would like you to just to bow down your head and let's commit our proceeding into the hands of jehovah elohim the most high god as we pray and the righteous king of glory we give you praise we give you glory oh, his village. these are people that join make up state he go there and enslave the people Look at what the, the kind of thing that is coming out in that man. He called himself engineer. That cannot repair concrete. Our people back home. Dave Umar, he said he will create a counter associational group. Like the way he created Bubago, using it to kill our people, using it to torment our people. Which group will you create? If you join in the group of Dave Omai, they will give you money, blood money, swear to the money they will give to you like the full and do to them. And give to you and they will join. Your days will be numbered. You can't fight the land. And when Engine will we are fighting a holy war. She's justifying what we are doing. To so fight for the land for the people. They did not say we do not come here to make ourselves rich. We do not, we would not come here to uh, fight for our own selfish interests. Why do you think they have HIPOB? Why do you think um, when you hear IPOB, it's like cancer to them? Because we rejected, we have, we are so contented to most of them, more than them. We do not steal our money. Any one penny I get is okay for me. I'm, I'm contented. I did not get any. Any money that was swear or have any attached to it. That's why when they meet us, they run away. We are we are we are children of the song. Not when they go and commit themselves, when they when, when some of us drum go that line, that is what is paining them more. Because when they make some of us, I, I, we don't have attachment to anything, we are pure children of the sun, when they see us, they run away. They human create anything he creates. Whatever he creates is what will destroy you in your land. It's what will destroy you. Our people, let me ask you guys. Election the Rona, this is when they will start to remember you, talking about you. We don't ask. 
this person, you know, you don't have anything. Yeah, well, uh, how do you imagine what you make when you are talking about the protest or protest? They say they have money. This, this. 2000 and oh, I think where well, during that time he bought a uh, ticket. Bring time with Jonathan. After that, the Jonathan uh, wrote that Okorota don't have five million naira. One please. I am Simon. I am go talking it, saying it. You can have some uh, warehouse to pay your richest money. Nothing there. You know, is that time. So only only good motto you have that time is, is woman. Up for woman around that time. Those days when you campaign push them, they enter there, you become monster, they, they call you names, they dehumanize you, they want you to come and be slave to them, serving them. We said no. We come to fight for the people. And enough is enough. But you must, you know all these things that is happening now, it has happened before, they want to create war, even if, during the time of the children of God, it won't happen. It won't happen. But at last, victory is ours. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Our people should not panic. You see this war? Even though it takes 10,000 years, victory will be ours. There is nothing our enemies can do to us. We are more than our enemies. We are more than human destruction. Some of them have tried, have seen it. And when again, we are fighting a just war. Equity, fairness, and justice all the way over. Oh, hell, Biafra. Thank you very much. That's our brother, Simeon, from Spain. Uh, let's take this call. Uh, should be Mama. Mama, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Good morning, watch Nike. Welcome, my dear mom. Thank you, Mel. Uncle. Jehovah Beze. Okay, sir. So. I'm here to pray today the reading of the saints. Hmm. Sorry I didn't inform you on time because, uh, you know, the spirit is willing, but the w w the body is weak due to stress. Oh, you, because you used to come very early and have ample time to pray. That would have been wonderful. That's the thing. I won't take time. Just 10 minutes, please. No problem. Thank you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to some of you IPOB members and genuine beer friends worldwide. I am here again. Psalms as we have it today. Today is at uh, one thirty one and uh, because of time I will rush to read and uh, to pray with it as we usually do every day for the one fifty days which we end on october twenty seventh of this year twenty twenty one. So in Psalm one thirty one we have just three verses. And I read with the easy to read version. It says, Lord, we don't feel proud. We don't see ourselves as better than others. We are not thinking about doing great things on reaching impossible goals. No. Right now, I, Namdekano, I am quiet and calm like a child after nursing content in his mother's arms because i am subjected to inhuman treatment in dss dungeon where they have shut my mouth that i will no longer preach the gospel of the kingdom verse 3 Dear friends, trust in the Lord. Trust in Him now and forever. He said, He said, He said, Join me in the prayer now. Oh, no, put away. No, Nigeria. Oh, me woke up, oh, yeah, me am born in my. 
Oti ye wo kwa Aboto na noita Abu otuto Hallelujah Ima machuku Onwapu ikoya Ihu nyanyeya Tarirai nangocha Udonko nyerai nwa Boni nyeya Okwe siro tuto Hallelujah. Oh, on a put away in a lot of Nigeria. Oh, me what I was a no good to me. Oh, Tina, what I Abu Tuto, Hallelujah. One day, my young Our leader and all genuine dear friends are before you in humility to thank you for your loving kindness for preventing the enemy from exterminating us Father, we are grateful to you. Yes, we are suffering. Yes, the enemy has waylaid us. They have invaded our land. But you did not allow them to finish us up. We know that only you can help us. For vain is the help of man. See all those we call our brothers, our leaders, our elders, the governors, the politicians, the traditional rulers, and so on and so forth of our land. They have gathered against the people they are ruling. They have invited the enemies into our land to massacre us so that they will retain their rulership positions our father but we know that you are the god of justice you will not allow it to happen the enemies are rolling and parading themselves in our land the terrorists in uniform in the army in the police in the navy in the air force in the road safety in civil defense, name it. They are all terrorists. And they have invaded our land. By the invitation of our own people. But thou God of justice. You said you will not acquit the wicked. You will not keep back your punishment on the evil ones. Therefore we give you thanks. We appreciate what you are doing for our leader Mazin and the Colonel, whom they who have killed since, but you keep on preventing them. Though you allow him to go through the sufferings and the pains, but you did not allow them to touch his soul. Therefore, we give you thanks. But this morning we cry unto you. That thou keep no quiet any longer. That thou delay no longer 
to save your own. Our leader, Namdekanu, is your servant and your son and your messenger. And you testified that he is mighty Jehovah. Arise in your anger. Arise in your wrath to deliver him from the hand of the wicked, of the garrison, of the conspiracy of British, Fulani, and allies. Even the media are not helping matters. Those who call themselves human rights, they have all ganged up against the genocide being committed in Biafra land. Father, serve them the judgment they deserve. Let their prayers become seen before you. That thou will judge them according to their wickedness. Even the UN, the AU, the EU, the ECOWAS, and what they call themselves, who are supposed to intervene in the way the leaders are leading their people, that they have all turned blind eyes and they have all kept moot so that they will benefit one thing or the other. Father, destroy all their economy destroy all that they have acquired from Biafra land destroy even the saboteurs who are aiding them mighty Jehovah wipe them out from the face of the earth that they may know that thou Chukwo Kikabiyama is not man and that all powers belong to you today mighty Jehovah the eighth day of October, Father, we are making this request that thou will move into Biafra land to dismiss every one of them, the terrorists in uniform who are in our land, causing havoc, killing with impunity the innocent people. Father, use their blood to sanctify the land that they have defiled with innocent blood. You said that no innocent blood should be shed in our land, but Lord, even our own, Devi Umahi, or whatever he calls himself, Hope Uzodema, and the rest, mighty Jehovah, they have put their hands in shedding innocent blood of the people they claim to lead. Father, they will not go unpunished. From this day, mighty Jehovah, look to them with anger, with wrath, with every punishment that they deserve, that they will not see the end of this year. Mighty Jehovah, whoever they are, even those who are hiding in IPOB, mighty Jehovah, as many as they are, who are against the restoration of Biafra, who has conspired even to kidnap illegally our leader, Mazin Namdekan. Father, may they not go unpunished. As many as they are, both old and young, mighty Jehovah, that thou will destroy all the powers that they use, whether they are champs, whether they are occultic powers, marine kingdom, witches and wizards, whichever way, in heaven on earth and beneath the earth, mighty Jehovah scatter and destroy those powers from this moment that they will be naked to your judgment, that your eye will be against them to destroy them. You said even if Babylon should rise up to the heavens, that you will pull it down and they will be destroyed and they will not rise again. So shall it be to British government and all that they are using to destroy Biafra land. Father, destroy them and they liberate Biafra and they bless Biafra and give peace to the land of Biafra and all the inhabitants as we have prayed, so shall it be in your name. Chukwo Kikabiyama Purimi Henine now and forevermore. You see, you see, you see. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Remember, sir. Thank you very much. That's our mama. Thank you very much for that prayer. Uh, let's take this caller. Our lines are open right now. You can call in for your contribution. 
should be Ugo. If I'm right, uh, I don't think your network is always something, my dear brother. Ugo, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I don't think so. I don't think so. Our lines are open. Those that we are calling before you can call back now. The prayer is off. Everything we do is for real. This is the prayer from we are for real. We ain't see shit. We are not even seeing anybody that wanna put us down. See, I'm the son of the oldest tribe on earth, and so I'm keeping the sun. I'm proud. See, I'm a girlfriend. I'm not giving up. I'm a girlfriend. Hey. Call on the line. Can you hear me? Presume should be Desmond. Yes, watching it. I can hear you. You are welcome, brother. Watching it. Okay. Thank you, man. Good morning from here. And I I bless the womb that gave birth to you, you know. We thank God and work. I say may true government continue to strengthen you and be with you always and forever more. You see? Good morning, dear friends, FBB family members, upright, my leader, his excellency, Mazen and Bikanu. Chukui Kabem will continue to be with you and will lead us into the Africa to eternity. You see, my name is Desmond and I'm coming from Italy. I must be, I won't take much of your time this morning. I just want to, having supported all that you have said and your encouragement and your irritation this morning, which are very important, I want to give out our numbers from IPUB National Body in Italy. For Biafrans in Italy to support ESL. If you are a Biafran and you are a friend of Biafran or you are somebody who wants to support us in what we are doing, we are calling on everybody. As long as you are in Italy, support us, support our security network, which is ESN. And the numbers to call, these numbers are from IPB National Body, signed by IPB National Coordinator of Italy. The numbers are plus 39-35100. 46055. I'll repeat, plus 39 This is IPB National Coordinator's number in Italy. The second one is plus 39 I repeat, plus 39 This is for IPB National PRO number in Italy. We cannot get tired of supporting our security, we cannot get tired of securing our land, and we cannot get tired of fighting for our freedom until we are free. Even after freedom, we will keep on because we have to be the land of the Africa to, 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 to where it's supposed to be. So our people must understand that this information will keep coming to us every day, and we must keep working because it's very, very important. The second one is our protest, famous in and the protest, which will be taking place in Rome, Italy, on the 21st day of this October 2021, which is the day the Zoom is to bring our leader to their courts. Failure which the land of Biafra will be blocked for one month and thereafter indefinitely. Um, anyway, they will know we are not going So we are calling on Biafra, Spence of Biafra, and everybody also, Odupia people. And Macedonians that are entirely to join us in Rome on the 21st of this October 2021. You know, the, the protest will be in two ways it will be a double foot, one will be in Kenya Embassy, and the other one will be at the British Embassy. But then we are all converging at the British Embassy, Italy. And the address, the time is nine o'clock in the morning. The address for British Embassy is Piazza di Porta Pia. Piazza di Porta Pia, Tracoso di Italia, E Pia Ancona. So if you get to, to the station, I think to Tributina or Termini, I think Termini is Metro B, and at Tributina is um, Post Puma, Puma 490. 
490. More information will be coming, but we should prepare ourselves because we are all converting at the British Embassy. Then from there, we will move to the Kenya Embassy. We are giving this information for all those people who are not part of IPB family in Italy to be aware because it's a national protest and it's going to be a very heavy one that very day. So because from British Embassy, we will be marching to Kenya Embassy. And then um, I believe that um, by the special grace of God, we shall be successful just as we have always been. So it's very, very important our uh, people take note of this and prepare yourself for this very day. And our leader must be released. They must bring him to court on the 21st of that October. We want to see him. We want him to address us. And we want him to be unconditionally released. It is very, very important also. Um, watching it, I won't say much because it's already there. Everybody knows a referendum is one man, one vote. David Omahi has one. And I want to say something, Mazi. I want to say something very important. David Omahi said he's going to create a counter secessionist group. Now, I want our people to understand that these people have got the military. They have created a Buba group. They have done everything they want to do. They see that IPOB, nothing can counter IPOB because IPOB is heavenly ordained. What they want to do is to be destroying the properties and the life of who they have been doing, but they want to now augment it. They want to take it to another level. So you shouldn't be expecting that you see one group that will come out and say, oh, uh, we are Biafra, but the right police unit is public. No, 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 you're not going to say anything like that. Too. What they are going to do is to bring out people that will start killing people and they will say they are IPO, just as they did in Anambra, that they went and robbed the bank and put Biafra flag there. That is what they want to be doing. So everybody should be very, very careful. Everybody must be very careful in the, in the state. Every people should take note of this and be very, very careful. We have seen their operation being done that they brought around. We have seen that it is to come down to kill our people. They have started with our veteran, the Biafran veteran, and the only root notable actor, Chiwetelago. And just as we've got the actors did in Nigeria, they must condemn this and they must do something. They must protest against this and they must protest for justice, not only for his release, because justice must be served. Justice must be served. You cannot treat an elderly man of such in that way and expect things to just go normal. You know, so our people must understand the critical state that we are in it now. We must be mentally tough, we must be prepared. If you have anything you used to defend yourself in your community, hold it very well and keep it very safe, because they will be going community to search people's house. They have people that are directing them, that are pointing them ha uh, hands, you know. So everybody must be prepared for what is coming, because the days ahead um, is, is unpredictable, but then the future is very bright, but we have to fight our way through. That is how Chukwa Abiyama has made it to be, and that is how we have to go through it. So that at the end of this process, we will be able to sit and say, God is faithful. And our children from generation to generation will be able to worship and praise God the way it has been in our land, right from the days of old. Thank you very much, Machineke, and God bless you from here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, my dear brother, Desmond, for that. And keep on the good work you are doing. The killing has already started. The killing has already started. The killing is ongoing. The killing is ongoing already in Biafra land. The secession is a movement uh, that uh, the Eastern governors are planning. It has already started. Go on Facebook now. You see the number of people that have been killed. A lot of pictures are coming. Uh, the secession is the counter attack on IPOB have started. So our people need to have understanding of what is happening and that is why we call you to listen to Radio Biafra. It is here we will tell you the truth. It is here we will tell you the truth. The killing have already started. The counter uh, 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 secessionist movement to counter IPOB have started. It is Nigerian military in, in the, it is the Al Shabaab in Nigerian military uniform. It is the deradicalized bandit in Nigerian uniform, military uniform. It is the repentant Boko Haram and the repentant Iswap in Nigerian uniform. No harm. An Igbo man will wake up and just see an Igbo man and gun him down for no reason. It doesn't happen. We want to do that. They have started. It's going on now. What I'm telling you now is going on. Let's take this caller. Thank you for holding. Should be my dear brother, a.k.a. Can you hear me, brother? 
Yeah, Mas, I can hear you. Good morning from here. Hello, much there, Kinanum. Yeah, loud and clear. Continue. Okay, okay, my beloved brother. Good morning from Warsaw, Poland. I remember Kronika came from Omaka in Olu Province of Biafra Land. Our leader remains Mazin and Yoko Kano, and all his lieutenants within the need for fanaticals, men of all radicals. I say good morning from my locations. Yeah, Mazi, I thank you for the topic. Mazi, do you know that every death in Nigeria, so-called Nigeria, the zoo? Is caused by the government. Man, you don't imagine a government that every year they bring out the budget money for the so-called Christians and the Muslims to go to pilgrimage. Man, that country you are now, does the government budget money for Christians and, and the Muslims to go to pilgrimage every year? They don't want to do the need for. Instead of providing social amenities, this is what the Biafras are asking only. Social amenities, security, they couldn't do it. Now we are agitating, they call on all sorts of names. The, 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 the political elite in so-called Biafra land, Ndonu Nerunoku, the billionaires, they contributed the money and put our leader where he is and they think we will be happy with them. There will be no peace for the wicked until our leader is released. Look at that lady that went that lady that went to adopt the mother, the dead mother in the cops, in the mortuary, and they've killed all of them now. You can see what they brought Devil Omahe brought into Biafra land. Devil Omahe brought all these people with Okrocha. Look at what is happening everywhere. That's why they tell you they form a parallel line. And they form it already. You see the army now. They are going place to house to house, killing people. See the molestation of our legends. And let me correct one impression. Uh, veteran, this uh, Chuetalago is a, is, a, is a veteran anyway. He's our veteran too. And I saw what he's asking them in that video. What is his rising sun? As you rightly put it to, assuming that uh, Archibong is around today, or Odume will actually all of them, or Woboti, and the way that he's going out and he molest him at this age, we always say that uh, all the kind of people are going about you. You can see the way they are beheading people. I don't know where that will happen. And probably could be a Bonimazi, the one you are showing me. I don't know where that one is happening. Probably a Boni. I'm sure it must be in a Boni. Therefore, my sending people, I mean, have to house. They are attacking people, taking people away, whisking them killing them, disappearing them, and the so-called, uh, the one in the uh, council house, Supreme Court government, is killing people, the whole mortuaries are full. People from a body should equally look into their own mortuaries, their mugs, and give report to what is happening there, as well as the whole Biafra land, because they have colluded. Oshishi Patrim had a bobo, but at the end of the day, win them. Devil Omar is trying to bring religious crisis to Biafra land. Devil Omar is trying to, to give a to, 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 to middle bed. Tell you that he's marginalized. And I continue to ask, who was the first governor of Abia State? Was he not from Ebony? Mazi, until this revolution starts. And we start taking them one after the other. But let them pray that only comes out. Or they, they, they hearken to the demand of IP audience and the leadership. Otherwise, from 22, we don't tell what we do, but they will see it. The flag must continue to go down, and our people must continue to prepare themselves. Please, if you say you are in Nigeria, that you are defending that government, call, call here and tell us any death in that country that is not caused by the government. Missionary Lunkodao. More accident. Mas, let I forget. Did you remember that Ghani Fayemi, the son had an accident. They took him to the zoo hospital. After they have caught them, big dummy, they find that they cannot, they cannot save the situation. They flew the guy to London, UK. And when they got there, what did the, the authority tell? They have every machine to treat this young man. But uh, he had to go wrong. He had to go. And the guy died there. 
That's why what you came with Sonia when I bought an abortion. On your toe, on your mother got a talk with Boro. All this is we are in extended families in Biafra land. Devil mother, oh, 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 Good day, sir. Land the man, book cross the hole. If you go to Mbiri, you know them. You have to cut down the man. Yes, I got to see you. But I got to. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. We say this. We say this. Yes, sir. No, no. What is the hole? Mas, mas, yeah. The boy, the boy, very bad. Mas, he can't be here. No, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, my dear brother. Thank you very much, my dear brother. Ike Rona Ike. Thank you. No, fact, yeah, I'm just thinking the, the, the way we will destroy politicians. Um, I, 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 fact, call on the line you have been waiting patiently, your name and your location. Yeah, Mazi, good afternoon, over here. Am I coming out loud? Good afternoon, over here. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Um... I want to I want to let our people to know that uh, since 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 they created Nigeria from 1945 to today, where we are using our people as a sacrifice to today, coming in this their depression now, we can put a matter that came out preaching to people about that you live in Abuja. Asking people to sit, uh, we are asking people to sit at home. I want to ask them, Ike Kuremado, you have been in the Senate for almost 20 years. What have you done to your people? State. They keep people in one so army. But you are a senator, former deputy senator, almost number third man or number fourth man in the country. Because you did not even come out to make a speech. You did not even sympathize those that they kill, kill people, kill, the, the family that lost people. How many people that died in Oso one? The governor came to cry. Have you seen where a leader is crying? We know leaders by action. The governor comes start to cry. Because the money they give you to work with, because you ate that money. You still have the moral, the, the, the moral justification to come out to talk about to talk about their cheating our people, telling our people, giving them someone that that did not go to anywhere. Our people should disguise anybody that be a politician in our land. The politician from Harry to Dick, we should disguise all. Papa and his son schooling. None of them is in Nigeria. If you love Nigeria, why you children are not there for UN and Osaka the school? Why any of the children are not there for UN and Osaka the school? He live in Abuja. What is serving people our own rights? He's, he's eating our own rights in Abuja. Then people in a, in a, in Enugu are buying. That is a bad rate. That one is one. Please, every security in every market. In market, in Onitsha market, in Aba market, in a, in a Enugu market, all our markets, please, we should be very, very careful. Their next target now is to bomb our market. Is to bomb our market, Otanja market, main market, Are Are Abaforo, Ekoha. Our market should be guided. That is their next target now. They want to enter into our market. That is their target now. Please, our security should be very, very watchful. I stop here so far. God bless you. Thank you very much, my dear brother. Thank you very much for that wonderful one. And uh, let everybody wake up. Let's fight this thing once and for all. Thank you very much for that call. Caller, you have been waiting patiently, your name and your location. Okay, thank you much, Nick. Uh, this is Kachi from Malaysia. Um, I want to appreciate your analysis this morning. Uh, you did fantastic. God bless you for that. Let me go straight. 
Uh, regarding the issue of uh, chin with talent, I want to tell the Bia fans all over the world to remain um, calm because you know they have their guns and you don't have a gun. They're only trying to provoke you to come out so that they can shoot you. As we can see, they are everywhere. And I also want to uh, thank Chiwete Lago for his boldness. I watched when they took him to office, one of their gangrene office, and he was, uh, they were like uh, asking him some questions. He was telling them boldly that the Biafra, the, the, the flag he's wearing is his identity. And he has been wearing that even before the uh, IPB show, whatever they're talking about. He had been using the flag he's in his house. And I really appreciate his goodness. And they only want to intimidate everyone, other artists, other, you know, movie stars. They have to wake up. What Nigerian government also are doing in a way to intimidate you so that you will not come out and stand for what you believe in. We have to join the queue at the moment because now is the time we need all of you. So there's nothing they will do. They wouldn't do it uh, without anything. Like uh, our much like have analyzed this morning, uh, they will, will follow the process. Then that is only what I want to say on that aspect. Then the Evan, Evan Shasha, or whatever, uh, he has gotten his uh, uh, his equation. You know, we know there are many of them that are still we, that we still come tomorrow. But I thank God for ITV family who have everything. They are from all over the world. I want to assure you, we want to assure you all that we are everywhere and nobody can intimidate IPOB anywhere, no matter the level you come, no matter your academic level, no matter whoever you are, we are there before you come and we will challenge you however you want it. The Afra must be. And that is what we have swear with our blood. And our brothers and sisters have been key for this and we can never relent. And on the uh, Umar, his side, Umar, he, we are watching the killings they have been killing in all the Ebo towns and our people. In Abakaleke, in Onweke, in the local government, you have been single, picking people, killing them overnight, using your agents, killing them. Or this is a town. Ishiago, we are watching you. We are noting all those things. At the time of record, you will give record of how many people, how many tons of youth you, have been, you are killing every day. So go on. We can't tell you to stop because you can't, you can't listen to us. You wouldn't stop because your, your masters are there, uh, you know, pushing you from behind. With no problem. So much neck, I want to give time for other people. Thank you so much this morning and God bless you as you continue doing the good job for their friends all over the world. Remain blessed. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, my dear brother, and keep on the good work from your own angle. Thank you very much. Let's take this call out. Presume should be our dear brother. Emeka Emeka Libya. Can you hear me if I'm right? Yes, I can hear I can hear you much neck. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you so much for the good work you are doing. And thank all Biafras all over the world. I thank all of you. Uh, please watch me. I I wish to uh, make this my own contribution, uh, which goes like this: that uh, I, I wish maybe through your this thing you can reach DOS uh, for them to, to like distribute secular to all the churches in Biafra land. You meet your enemy face to face. Secular should be sent face to face to all the churches in Afra land. Any parents to want their kids, to want their, their children, not to involve in any act of political activity, being voting or being voted for. Someone here will need mad warning that the person is aware of this thing, that this thing is danger. It's not like they are hearing a true rumor that uh, above leadership said uh, no Biafra person should involve himself or herself in political activities, you know. But there's a different thing that maybe a secular is said that people are aware of what this thing. And also, uh, this issue of uh, these are our governors also, I don't know, I'm also carrying the thing to all these places also. Can, like, uh, the leadership of IBOB, not like they're listing over radio or all these uh, 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 media chat and all these things. Like a, a message sent to them to their to their to their phone to, to their line or whatever, officially to notify them the 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 the, the, the repercussions of what they're doing. That the people that vote you in your PC killing them. It's just like everybody pointing hand at uh, devil man. And the guy is really committed a lot of atrocities. 
you know, because he's not thinking of those people he's leading, he's thinking of his position in Abuja, belonging to Nigeria, you know, and forgetting that, uh, that this is the place you are born and brought up, and the whatever position you are occupying now is because you are from this place. Now, all the country is going to say that Madde, Undi, Madde, Ujionazo, Bushede. You know, because you think that you are getting what you want. You know, then you don't mind the people that, even the people that supported you to that place. You know, so that is my little contribution, fortunately. I, I want to, like, say, what, what I want to say in summary is that this thing should be made officially known to them. It's not like they hear it through hearsay or whatever. You know, say secular to now them. Is this is, we are aware of this thing you are doing. Stop it, it is not good. Stop it. You know, so that is uh, what I, I want to say. And I remember yesterday when I was listening to your program, somebody also made a, 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 a contribution, a very good one. I also want to join my voice to re-emphasize on that thing. That also our religious leaders also, should also be reminded that they shouldn't accommodate all these politicians in their churches and their religious activities, you know, because some of them will use it as a very good platform for campaign. They give all these uh, religious uh, uh, leaders uh, money, and then they allow them to even come openly and campaign. Some the uh, our religious leaders also campaign for them in churches. So those things shouldn't take place in Biafra land at all. So that is my own little candid uh, contribution, much later. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank, thank you, you very and much, God bless my dear you. brother Mazi Emeka. Thank you very much. One thing with religion and whatever, in our book, I read the Bible and follow the way the Bible said, following human being is just mess. One of the religious leaders, they bought this time election is coming in Anambara. They bought 2021 or 2020 powerful jeep and gave to them. And they, that is why you see them in Enugu. They were in that uh, kangaroo meeting they did. Nobody mentioned about the release of Mazin Namdekano. Nobody, because no, they, they all of them are... If, is he not a religious leader that was the one who first of all posted on his Facebook that they caught him with woman in Brazil? Everything is nonsense to tell you the mindset. I am not against church religion, but I'm against the people who are practicing it. I'm against them. Yes. That is why our people must not go towards that side. And that's why everybody, everybody must agree with us at this time. Short and simple. Brody, if we miss it all of immediately. We must know that. immediately. So we Thank you very much, my dear brother. That's Mazem Mecca from um, Libya. Thank you very much. Uh, let's take this uh, call. Uh, must be powerful man of God. Powerful man of God, can you hear me? Yes. Um, thank you, thank you very much. Life. Yeah, thank you very much. And I uh, remain blessed and I uh, highly favored. Anyway, um, I don't have to um, uh, kind of uh, uh, push it more hard, but I want to say something. I we start by many of us that are saying uh, we are watching. Are you a watchdog? Those of them that say that you are watching, are you a watchdog? Aren't you tired of watching? They said that since the day of John the Baptist, since the day of devil, devil Umuru and devil Amosu took up the mantle of leadership in Ebony State, people's blood has been wasted. And it has the audacity to come up to tell us before that our leader cannot come to a point state. Our leader went and nothing happens. And he said again that um, that, that that he he's, he swore in to govern the state, not to govern the people, but to govern the, the state with the constitution protection that he must protect the constitution of the zoo. And you said you are watching. A man that has never come out in the public with Biafran legalia or attire. He always dressed like a Muslim. Even outside the Kobiam. He always used outside the Kobiam to uh, kind of uh, 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 show you the code of his dressing. That is to tell you who he is. He is the first man that invites Emir in Biafra land. The Emir of Sokoto. And we forgot so soon, I think five or six years ago, or four years ago, 
we forgot so soon. And this same man came out and tell you that the that the Ebony State has been marginalized. I want to ask our people in that very point. Let me just tell you something, sir. Eh? There is this some some of the video that I sent to you. This very video, we are things that happened yesterday. Yesterday, um, Chiwetalago was apprehended. That same yesterday, two lawyers were killed in Ebony State where they were going to defend those of the IPOB, I mean, on assignment, or those of them that uh, devil Amosu kidnapped, and some of them has been killed. Now, in that same Ebony state, you will see a place where they kill someone that just arrived from overseas and cut off his head. And all these mayhems have been done by the military that the uh, devil Amosu brought. Now, the same yesterday at Nobi, um, what they call it, military, the zoo military that could not lay hand or even cause any harm to Boko Haram went and killed people that went and deposited the, 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 the body of their mother that died the same yesterday. That same yesterday. The same yesterday, a lot of things happened. And many of us will come and say, you are watching. Are you a watchdog? And you want to go for are you not tired of looking? Most of the times we shouldn't talk like people that don't have a kind of a, 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 a hope or people that don't have any plan. You do understand? So, because when you are saying these things right now, it, it, it seems like maybe you don't have any plan and people are being killed every blessed day. So, my brother, why am I saying all this is right now is that uh, hey, we should stand up and say enough is enough. We should stand up now and said enough is enough. It's not by force for people to govern, for somebody to come and say, I want to govern you. And we say we don't want you to govern us. We don't need government anymore because we have not benefited anything from you guys. We don't need it. And that is to tell you right now that they are doing it by fire, by fire. They must be govern you, which means they are they have an ulterior motive. It is for their own selfish materialist tendencies and aggrandizement. And many people are supporting them. This uh, said, I'm just capitalizing on it. Do you know that this this man that called Devil Amosu is not sleeping in government house, neither his own house in a, in a point state. He sleeps in in a, in on Chibweze. and on Chibweze, people knows where this man sleeps every day without security. He, he, he created a road that would lead to that particular house. And people know when this man always left there to his office and came back in the evening and relaxed with his children and his family. Yet they they they, they, they know all these places. They kept quiet. You come here and tell me you are watching. These are the things we are talking about. These are the things we are talking here. about. I'm you come here to tell me that you are watching. I never forgot. Ah, don't just know. Huh? You come here and tell me that you are watching. I never forgot. I never forgot. We are going to that very place. We are watching. What are you watching? What kind of rubbish is this? You know where this man is sleeping in on the chip. Even more, me that is not from Ebony State. I have the locations and where this man is residing every person day in on the chip. That's on the chip. He kills people, they are take up their lands and give it to Fulani. And another thing again I want to say, my brother, is that uh, there is something ago they said that there is something like gathering in Biafra land. And why is it that we are allowing this these buffoons to gather? They give us data and we know that they are gathering. Why is it that we allow them to gather and we say that there must no gathering of any kind in the Bafra land? Let me stop here. They just kill them. You see me, you are watching. Thank you very much. All right, let's take this call. Caller, you have been waiting your name and where you are coming from. calling from. Caller, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, my brother. You are welcome, brother. Thank you for holding the line. If not, it won't go. Um, good morning, my brother. From welcome. Yeah. My brother, for, for, for the information I want to give, for the information I want to give, I don't see the necessity of doing my time. I'm going to see my children. So um, I, I want to I want to first of all thank, thank you. Your your voice is giving us. Uh, Call. I cannot hear you yeah. again. 
I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you, my brother. Re continue to recap what you. No, I didn't get anything. We both said. Yeah, uh, brother, you know, see, uh, look, 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 I can wear this. Uh -uh. Okay, you call back. I think your network is there. Let's take a call from Choco de Mas. Choco de Swiss Gijes, yeah? It's a yeah? Mas, can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can hear you. You are welcome. My brother, my God bless you. And you too. I pray for our little Mazen and the Kanu. May God be with him, where the enemy kept him as he is with uh, Daniel in the lion's gym. And we pray, may the Lord bring him as for us to continue the work, because he has started the work, and he will, he will be with us to finish it. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Um, as what I want to, I want to contribute this morning. I'm, I think I'm following from the beginning to now. But what made me to call now is what this our brother said just now, when he said uh, the people always say that they are washing. Is I am not paying them. I think um, I'm with him. Or, uh, no, 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 I can wear this. Or the other to our brother who called before. He said that people uh, will keep calm for um, a military that uh, arrest this uh, our brother, the artist that you wear him, um, the Afghan flag. And somebody called you and said that people will keep calm. What do you hear me by people will keep calm? Instead of it to say that people have to rise up, I'm, I'm beginning to do something for them to release our brother. He said that people will keep calm. Keep calm for what? Will they kill the whole Biafran before we keep before they kill six million sixty seven to seventy and the their claims is there and the she telling us to keep calm and there is another thing I want to say but I'm saying this to our leader as uh, G O S and H O D you know when our leader is out there he's preaching he said that our generation will not make the mistake that Ojuku made, 67 to 70. He said he have studied what made us to fail then, and he must correct all of them. We must not make a single mistake. So because we cannot make one mistake two times. But now, um, what I'm seeing now is like a systematic claim is going on again, like 1967 to 70. And the pressure is going to people to start uh, um, what happened 67 to 70. You know, then the uh, African people started the war without anything. Empty handed, they just started with the stone, uh, with the stick, with the um, um, uh, 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 everything iron. They use empty hand to push in a diameter out, and some of them will be killed. They come straight to guns or try begin to shoot. Uh, so there no 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 weapon. They fight empty-handed. That's why they eliminated was about to us. And this time I don't know if we are trying to begin to fight Nigerian military again with the stone and the stick and the slippers and catapults. Or uh, do we have any other plan? If we have, this is time to bring that plan because um, I, we have to do something. They will not kill the whole Biafran before we bring out rule out our plans. If, if there is a plan we have, our leader said if you come out to march in two weeks, we will get to Sokoto. So if a plan like that is by the side, let the, H, let the leader bring it out. And uh, yeah, Because I don't like people who go again, begin to fight, um, struggling for weapon to fight military. This is what I want to say. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Majze Chukude, for that wonderful one. Uh, but I just want to uh, put so, put us together. The other person called to say, we are watching, calm down. The other person now come counter it. Let us not start countering ourselves. It, this could be, there's what they call a, laying a premises before you talk. Like some, know how you call radio without saying, I greet you, I pray for you, all those things. Which uh, uh, You have to first of all say it out before you start saying something. 
uh, let us not use it now. So this person will call and say, why would this person say this? Let's focus to enemy. It doesn't mean that the person is telling people to sit down. But that is a word he used to before he started expressing uh, uh, his view. Uh, let's not get ourselves wrong. We need our everything together. We are not relenting. That is one thing. This is the broadcast I'm giving, and it's coming from the decks of IPOB. We are not relenting. So uh, I'm just uh, trying to fix you, uh, say something regarding what you said, Mazi Chukwode, and the powerful man of God who called. You understand? All right, thank you very much. Let's take the other caller here. I've been waiting, uh, I believe, um, should be Mazi Samuel Okonkwagulayri Kisiyeje. If I'm right, you are live on there, Mazi. Thank you, sir. My name is Samuel Hiro Okonkwa from Agulayri. I want to thank you, Mazi, for your good work. And uh, what prompted me to call is what our brothers are calling on this radio to be telling you the US should do this, the US should do that. I believe that the US should share the number, you can contact them. If you are telling them that they don't have this, they don't have that, they, have, they should do this, they should do that, you call them and tell them the strategy to follow if you think that they, they, are, they don't know what they are doing. But you call on this radio, you blame the US. You are telling them to show you uh, if they have what it takes, uh, is that we going to use stick? Where are you? You are, you are in abroad. You did not go to training. That time when I was recruiting ESN, did you submit to go to and join ESN to train? You did not do it. But you will be in abroad talking rubbish. All of you blaming the OS. As if you know better. If they ask you to do, what can we do? You don't know anything. But you will blame the DOS. DOS this, DOS that. It's not time for them to, to bring out our, our men to go and fight uh, because you have given them the order. I don't understand how our people reason. If you use this same brain that uh, they used in 1967 to 1970, they will still defeat us. When they tell you, do this, you do it. If you know what we can do to get Biafra, if you don't want to do it, you want others, you want to you make it as a suggestion, call that line, that inquiry line that was given to you by, through, by the DOS. Call it and lay a complaint. Give your own strategy there. If it will work out, we use it. If it will not work out, we will drop it and use it when it can. Stop forcing your own ideology on us. You, in Biafrans, you see whatever thing you see on social media, you come on the radio to talk about it and make it a, a reference point. You talk as if you know what you're saying. When you don't know what you're saying, you call on radio Biafra. Tell us how we are going to get Biafra. We know that we are all in problem. All the preaching Mazen and the Kano have been doing is because of this problem we have been in. Tell us what we want to do to get Biafra. Don't blame another person. Don't fight like a coward. You call already Biafra, you start blaming the US. The US this, the US that. Very soon now, if, you are, if your wife did not conceive, you blame it on the US. This is the kind of things that I don't want to be hearing. Tell us how you want us to go and get it. Don't depend on the US. The US are your fellow human beings. Tell us that thing you want them to do. Don't tell them if we have a, a man, we have this. Uh, let them deploy it. Are you the one that is commanding them now? If you're the commander now, command your own group now. Let them go and do the thing you think we are not doing in IPOB. Uh, God bless you, Mazi. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Mazi Okonkwo. Ibn Waguleri. Okugine Juma, first time you call. You always put sense in what you're saying. Thank you very much. All this issue of uh, are we going to do it like this or like that, like this, DOS. I, okay, let's say for example now, let me say for example, for example now, let's say we, uh, DOS has bought uh, uh, five uh, war jets from America. Are you expecting DOS to come on Radio Biafra or tell the broadcaster, say, hey, we have bought a five jet and it's coming, it's going to, is that what we want? Uh, sometimes, um, even when thought comes into us, let's first of all digest it, you know, before we usher it out. I'm talking to those who are with us that may not understand one or two things. Uh, but uh, if it is somebody that is instigating, maybe putting all those things, uh, uh, no problem. Those kind of things cannot uh, move us. It can't change us. We must continue to do what uh, we want to do. We must continue to do what we are called to do. Uh, very, very important. Caller on the line, uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Caller? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, mo good morning. Good morning from Yamachi Neke. You are welcome, my dear brother. Yeah, this is uh, Chukwuka from my location. I want to contribute to what uh, we are discussing this morning. 
And I think I didn't I didn't follow you when you started, but I think I had the last three speakers that uh, spoke. Uh, they expressed their views, and uh, it's good that we always contribute meaningfully to the success of uh, our agitation. Okay, so in as much as we can contribute, we will make a little positive contribution. What I want to say is this. We know that uh, DOS, they know that the ball is in their court and uh, we leave it for them to do their best because uh, they know that uh, they will be held responsible. So they will do their best in order to give us the best of the results that we demand. And we are going to pray and support them in every way. You know, so they shouldn't take uh, offense at contribution. They can still always listen to the contributions, no matter uh, how good or bad. There's no news that is good or bad news. So uh, in my only two way, I can say that uh, we, like our leader said, that we cannot make the same mistake that we made before. So not uh, so what we can always do is to know the strength of the people that are coming to us because our leader always said that we are greater than these people in number so when he says such a thing it means a lot of things but we, i think we don't even uh, the general public you know not the deal the general public you know they don't even understand what it means we say we are greater than them but how do we translate it you know to make it meaningful when you say we are greater than the number of soldiers they are going to send to our to our community to our areas and communities so what does it mean to all what does it mean it means that we are greater than them then how do we translate it to be stronger than them like yes like what happened it was it yesterday when they arrested the uh, chimotalago it was about three or four soldiers they were there but there are so many people surrounding them but they didn't know what to do but they are greater than outnumbered those people but they didn't know what to do so these are the things that uh, they can be taught on how to do and what to do with their numeric strength so that you cannot because most of the times we come and say they should go and do this and do this and do this it is not easy to do this thing in isolation you know so it is better to say this is a group that does this this is a group that does this so they will know their responsibility they can be moving around the city and looking for their whatever they are looking for you know that they are on a mission you know so it's not easy for say everybody should go and do this and do this yeah but if you organize them and give them a mission they know that what, this is what, what they are going out to do there were many the other day with the uh, chile chile the lago was there uh, but they didn't know what to do if at least we have some at least 10 say 10 people on a mission in that area at that point in time, they would have been more effective than the general crowd that, that didn't actually know what to do. So this is the point I'm trying to make. There must be some particular education on how to use our crowd number, you know, put people in say, different, you know, groups and the whatever, whatever, so that they can know their responsibility. When things like this come, they can be able to react. Otherwise, you cannot just say, do this and do this. They cannot do it individually. So that's the point I'm trying to make, okay? We have to consider the uh, the strength of the people coming to us. Then we have to know how to uh, uh, you know, use our own numerical strength to uh, to defeat them. That is very important. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you very much. Your idea is good, and uh, it's for us to those uh, uh, words of our leader that comes like proverb. This is the time we need to deep in the, uh, going deeper into those words to understand what he's trying to let us know. Just for example now, if there is anyone you have, if you air it, people all over the world are listening, they will pick something from there as well, know how to overrun such thing when it happens. Uh, but the only thing I always advise our people is just to agree with what we are doing. Just everybody agree, follow, because it's not everything we will tell people on, on, on the board. But let's focus on politicians now. Look at the killing going on in Ebony State. Brother on Abamara, these are innocent people. Somebody may have won a prosu the mom, Ghana, Mochari, the Sekana, Lata, and they have in Nigeria, but we see these people. What for for what reason? Yeah? Mm. For what reason? In our own land again, by our own politicians. Mba, 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 yeah, get me the chia meta. Thank you very much, brother. Uh caller, you have been waiting. Well, I believe should be Nanya, can you hear me? Can you hear me? God bless you. Yeah, Thank I can you hear you. The line. Like, uh, God bless you and your family. My name is Nanyere. I am the PR here in Russia. I thank all the FUAB here in Russia. This is especially our national coordinator, Mazira. What I want to tell you is this, uh, Machinaka. Like, uh, the world, the world, 
is in our land already. So there's no two ways ab about that. And uh, we are the people that will sponsor ourselves. I want to urge IPOB, even though we are not IPOB, because they spend no one. Zoom spend no one. You understand? If they can kill husband and wife, pass for that matter, they, that one can drop it. They, they kill everybody that they see. So it's better if you cannot go to village, you support USN. Support what we are doing. When you are doing budget, budget ESN. Budget it. You go to the website and put the money there. Stop complaining. Stop calling. Stop waiting. Stop looking. Just go and do the needful to support ESN. Simple as ABCD. Men and on the ground that will do the job. All of us cannot be there. Because if all of us go there, nobody will bring one or little things to be supported. Thank you, my brother. I could go on with the good work that you are doing. Thank you. Thank you very much, my dear brother Nanya. Thank you very much. I uh, call on the line. Can you hear me? Your name and your location. Call on the line. Can you hear me? Caller, can you hear me? Call on the other line. Can you hear me? Caller, can you hear me? Let's our one the Mazin and the panel. It's a year of our time. Mazi, when we bless you. I am Mazi Chinemerem Oduku. I'm from Abajan Wangle Luku government. I look prefix. Mazi Ifat. This agenda is for God Almighty, not before man. Mazi, see what happened. Now it's a crime for somebody to put a costume. Mazi, you know, you know, this, these people called Zoo or called Nigeria, their drain is very, very low. It's just a trap. Just Stuart Lago is a smart man. He's a hero, in fact. Among all Nigeria actors, all Igbo actors, that, that, man is, that man is the greatest man among all of them. He's a hero. He's a hero indeed, in fact. He just set a trap, one man trap for them. Only two at Rago would set the trap for them. They, they just went inside that trap immediately. Now it's a crime for somebody to wear a costume. So somebody's not wearing an American flag on his body or Israeli black flag. Now somebody cannot take a Chelsea flag on his KK. So now somebody cannot put a Manu flag on his, his car. Now it's a crime. Now flags is a crime in Nigeria. Now you know. Mas, in terms of this killing, we are bringing people here. Mas, 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 just hold it. Yeah, if Mas, you go to, yeah. if you go to Facebook, yeah. Mas, if you go to Facebook, you will see where yeah. uh, Buratai and the left Buhari. We are holding for Boko Haram flag. Boko Haram flag. Yes. That we are holding is celebrating Boko Haram yes. with their flag. <laughs> Despite being being yes. uh, proscribed as the world most dangerous terrorist, Boko Haram flag. The the, 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 the yes, military is arresting know, somebody who wear a costume. Continue, brother. <laughs> Mazi, do you know what is baffled me? When you go to Brunei State now, the terrorists have mounted their flag, jihad flag in some local government in the, in that area. They are not arresting them. You know, when we are direct to tell them, let them continue coming here. The God of the land, the God of Biafra, will swallow them. All of them will die here, including the politicians. Imagine you are coming from somebody's land, you holding charm to come and kill that person. And you think that, oh, no, 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 no. Mazi, we are not afraid of them. We are grand here, including all the politicians. Mazi, 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 Uru, Nana, Biafra, when Biafra comes. Mazi, Gana, we, Uru, Uru, Sim, Mazi, Nana, Napata. These people are my hand, you know. It's very, very spiritual. Let them, Paha, Waraha, Maha, Waraha. Let them get it now. Mazi, Gana, we, Uru, Nana, Biafra. I don't know if you know, because I know what Biafra is in my spirit. Biafra will come like a fire, you come like a water, you come like a disaster, you come like a peace. Anyone you fight, Biafra is going to give you that. Let the people know. Well, this is in Igbo land, in the Igbo. In this may have in the Igbo. What will happen in politics in Nigeria? All the Otabono. All the Otabono. Because we are not afraid of this 
Al-Qaeda, Boko Haram, ISIS, they are bringing here. All of them are going to die here. When the due time comes, Mazim, Anna Babol, Anna Babol, Kitandine, Kiri, Kiri, Rukakoko, Manandina, Pitch, Ababol, my father, Gabiga, not strategize how to do good. That is simple, Manandina. Some of people on Facebook will be never now, Kakoko, Anako. But we are not afraid of this Al-Qaeda, Boko Haram. In fact, all the all the Igbo politicians, all of them, we have declared them terrorists. All the Igbo politicians, both local government councillor and all the some of pastors and clergymen and bishops, we have declared them terrorists. Mazi, may him bless you. We are not running, running away from our land. God bless you. Thank you very much. That's God bless. Mazi. Thank God you bless. very much. Thank you, my dear brother, for your contribution. Let's take this call. Uh, caller, it seems you have called before. Can you hear me? Caller, can you hear me? I can hear you, my brother. You are live on air. I can hear you. You can hear me. Continue now, brother. Okay, my brother. So my, my brother, I called you before. Just there is one information I want to give to you. Hello? Just continue. Okay, my brother. Sorry for the storm uh, because I'm using that is, but I'll remove it. Um, there is a one one thing one my brother told me at on which I did for yesterday. He, he told me that uh, um, all this politician is moving around, collecting their DVM, collecting their DVM. That uh, that anybody who brings his with DVM, they will be giving money for our nature, our nature there. But that we know we are from Obaru, from Obaru. And uh, we are, uh, before before this, my brother told me this. My brother have already told me that in my community, being a one or the the the. the the most, the most local, local community in, you know, in Anambra State. They are, they are come, don't ask them to bring their account number and this and that. Once you bring your DGM, they, they, they give the account number, they don't come to you. So, uh, I everything is, I can't that, uh, this. Um, uh, remember that once you give your DGM and you have, you have cast your vote, uh, they have, to, they know how to maneuver it. They know how to play the game. So, for the fact that you have given person your DGM, forget about you have cast the vote, vote, vote already. That day you hear result, you say you no know, vote, you no know, vote, but you voted because you have already given person the order of your data. Your picture, your complete, everything is there. So this is what is, what is this now for, my, for what is going on in Anambra State and believe it's going on in every part of Anambra State as I speak to so, My brother, if I, I want to just let you know that... Uh, uh, we here in Blackfriar Land, if you, the way we speak, you people should not be angry with us because if I tell you that, yeah, I, may be I may be thinking that because I don't have money to mobilize boys to do the work the way I want. But uh, the, the way this thing people are collecting, I'm, I'm telling you, my brother, is it's overnoying. It's overnoying. So I want JS not to be angry the way people speak. Let them, let them just keep on doing their job. The, the way people are speaking is what, what they are seeing on ground. We know them to speak the way they speak. No, they may be angry with the people. Please. Because uh, we are in fact, I'm telling you that a lot of our mind are busy for in uh, death around here. The, the molestation, the, the insult, the, the, the everything is so high to us. So that is it, my brother. The fact of all, I want to commend you. Your voice is, uh, is, uh, is giving us is giving us hope. Your voice is giving us hope. And I want you to keep it on. Keep the good job on. God, all of him was surely grant us our hearts die in a very good day. Keep it on. I know you're humble, brother. Take care. Thank you very much, brother. And thank you very much for the mm. information. Thank you very much for the information. And we need to mm. emphasize on that. We need to emphasize <laughs> that the politicians are going house to house now, collecting your BVN. Know that you have casted your vote. But the thing is that um, we have to also make it clear. We are not worried about the election so, in Anambra mostly. People have been talking about shooting out. Whether you vote, or you, they have already arranged. They want APC want to take Anambra by all means, just as it happened in Imo State. A gentleman won election in Imo State, pump and clean, neat. And they came up with what they did. What we are looking is for is Biafra. And for Biafra not to come, anything can happen. 
if it is that is the way we will burn both them we me everything we go die there but our people please listen we know that the hunger every this that sometimes just be disciplined when they are asking for all these things show to the person that you have sense don't give your bvn if you will listen to us stay away from all this nonsense and let's fight this thing once and for all we understand the pain the whatever but please try to endure somehow but let's work together thank you very much uh, my dear brother thank you very much and uh, whenever you have such information please try don't uh, hesitate to come on air to re re uh, reveal it i will continue to uh, also investigate on this we gather more information we tell our people thank you very much brother let's take this call caller you are live on air can you tell us your name and your location caller can you hear me caller can you hear me caller can you hear me and you too, my brother. I They say it's better. Okoa is uh, a court. It's a court 
Good morning. Thank you for you keep on calling and calling, but when I want to pick it, it goes out, and when I pick it, you couldn't hold it. You have the mic now. Yeah, it's a massive. Thank you so much. I greet you, my people. It's a massive. I want to say something when it comes to what the Nigerian soldier alongside the Nigerian police because they are all working together supporting the zoo. The Zoological Republic government to kill their masses. The intimidation that coming from these people remains the reason why Nigerians' useless country is boiling today. These people are the ones supporting these evil people in power. Team with the Lago, just as our brother Kekori said, he's a veteran. Yes. You don't believe that this man has been wearing this clothes, walking showing that he is a citizen of our land. I want to say, Nigerian soldiers, Nigerian police, why are you bringing cause to yourself and your generation? Why are you supporting evil? Mas, I can boldly tell you that I am not in Nenugu for a while now. The simple truth is that this man is putting on these clothes. Let me say, over two or three weeks, in any group, and there is army, responsible ones, 
who respect their, themselves for this jihadis that they brought in our land that is in our own nature they have shown themselves they continue to intimidate people that is the reason why they brought these people they say it is oppression gone them down that's exactly what i call it anytime you hear the zoo bringing any show first in our land is to kill our people is to intimidate our people to tell people that is working on their own to start doing uh, a fraud job to tell people that is in, in vehicle to come down and start clearing glass start cutting glass intimidation remains the reason why nigeria will never ever succeed discrimination killings of innocent people that man must be free they should re release that man because it's an innocent man. These people that is supporting the zoo government to intimidate, you are bringing cause to your generation. I am saying this, if you are a first man, whether police, whether army, whatever you belong as a force, if you, you continue to engage yourself in the intimidation of innocent people, you are bringing doom, destruction to your generation. You may think you survive it, but your generation will never ever experience any good thing because of what you have brought to them. I am saying this because the people who fought our in our brothers and sisters, our fathers, 1967, and killed innocent dear friends, they call themselves Nigerian soldiers. Go and check some of them that is living today. They are swimming in miserable life. Their, gener their generation is suffering because of what they have brought to themselves. I am pointing out this for you to know because there is nothing you do in this life that doesn't have reward. If you do good thing, good thing will look for you. If you continue to engage yourself in bad thing, bad thing will be your reward. Mostly, the blessing of Chukwu Kikabiyama will continue to be with every one of us as we stand on the side of the truth and the director of state of this family. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, that's Ugo. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your uh, your, your consistency in calling. Uh, thank you very much for that. Let's take this caller. Caller, can you hear me? Yeah, hello. We are live on air. Okay, good afternoon. Welcome, my dear brother. Uh, yeah, my name is uh, Osita, and uh, I'm from uh, Amambara in Oka. More on Mauritius, it's in Mauritius, I think. Mauritius, so sit down. Yeah. So, even when I was going before, I have come before, but uh, I'm not even going to, you know, I was using a gear for the call. So, but now I've removed it. So, the reason why, you know, all those things that are happening about it, I don't know. Now, the reason why it's happening is because of our people so much take things, you know. Uh, that is how it normally happens. Because the reason, all those things is pinning me in my heart every day, every blessed day, I see people slaughtered, killing every blessed day. And those people are walking freely in our land. It's true that I'm in Mauritius here, but every day I know I'm, I'm thinking about this. Every day I was thinking about this. The day, you know, the day our people will begin to make up their mind to do what they're supposed to do, to better, to better for all of, all of us. I, even though I, if I decide to do anything now, I will not say it on air here because of safety purposes. I will not say it on the air. But one thing I want to let our people know is that the day we wake up from this sleep that we are sleeping, because I can call it a sleep, the day we are I don't want to say much, but the day we are going to wake up from this sleep, better for all of us and do what we're supposed to do, better for everybody. Because we can't sit down and watch these people walking down freely. I'm not even apart from the apart from the governors and the distance. But all these Polanyes are walking freely, and all these soldiers walking freely on our land. The day we are going to wake up and face them and do the thing that we're supposed to do, then whether they are they they say that we are uh, you know terrorists or whether they say that we are uh, you know uh, whatever they call us, we should not look over all these things. We should do what we're supposed to do. Because whether we do that or we do not do that, 
they will still call us the name they want to call us. So when he open one one if you want to eat frog, eat the fattest one. Then when they call you eat frog eater, you will answer and answer it very well. So when uh, the day we are going to wake up and do what we're supposed to do, whether we keep quiet or whether we do that thing that we are that we're supposed to do, the name they will still call us, what they will still call us, they will still call us that name. We are not doing anything and they are calling us terrorists. What about if we do it? What they will now call us the same terrorists. So is it not better that we do what we're supposed to do? Then any name they call us will now know that yes, we are doing what we're supposed to do to free ourselves and to free our land. Thank you, my brother. Please, my brother, there is something I want to say, but I will not say it here. I will not say it here. Please, if there is any way to connect you privately, please can I let just let me know. Then later we will talk about it. Yeah, just call me after the broadcast in this same line. I will I will we can discuss. Just call me immediately after the broadcast. Okay, 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 thank you, thank very, you very much. much. Thank you very much, Mazi Usita. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Uh, let's take this call. Uh, must be evangelist. Oh, no, huh? evangelist, can you hear me? Oh, yes, oh, yes, I can hear you. Good morning, what you uh, You're welcome, good morning. Thank you, thank, thank you for your good work. I, I, I was patiently listening to everything that is happening. I want to say, my Elohim Chuko Kadama, bless every presenter we have in this hallowed platform in the name of Chuko Kadama. Uh, uh, I'm calling from my location. I want to uh, say this, you know, uh, our people, our people, it's like some people are not understanding what is happening. We, uh, we put the pleasure that uh, Biafras, we Biafras, IPOV, are giving the, the zoo. It is normal that they do that. And I want to, I want to take us back uh, to, to the colonial master. That is the, that is the way they rule. As we are giving them pleasure, they will act on their own. It is normal. We expect it. Uh, we, uh, don't, I don't want us to panic because this is a sign that uh, we are doing something. Because if they did not show themselves this way, people will, uh, people will not know that we are doing something. So everything that doing the plane of soldier, the plane of armor, tank, every other thing, sir, is a sign that we are doing something. And uh, I want to share. I want to assure every one of us that uh, Biafra has come. All help Biafra. And uh, also, I want to use this opportunity again. You know, uh, our leader uh, uh, always told us that take care of I'm evangelist. I will always uh, uh, speak on this aspect because the greatest problem that we have, the greatest problem that we have now is religious. Religious is the greatest problem because many of us, we are Christian, but we don't reason. That's just the truth. Yeah? Many of us, there's no reason. Yeah? And uh, there are our religious leader will uh, quote a scripture to us that we should not be led by our own understanding. Man do not have any understanding, but God has given us understanding. We must think. We must make use of our brain. These people, they are coming to kill us, and we are not going to fold our hands. We will fight back. That is certain. And it's only come. Because uh, the, this battle is not, is not a, a, a physical battle that we are seeing. It is a spiritual battle. And uh, when it has happened in the spiritual realm, then in physical, we will see something happening. That's just it. I, I want to also uh, recommend our mother that pray for us. I want to recommend him uh, uh, very well. And also uh, our, our uh, uh, great man of God, as you called, as you called him, you know, when I see all these people, I, I, will, I will see that uh, the people that really understand what the Bible is recognize IPA. Thank you very much. May the Lord bless you. And our leader, thank you, man of God. Thank you. Thank you very much, evangelist. Thank you. And may Jehovah Elohim continue to bless you. Uh, let's take this one. Paul, you have been calling and calling. I love that. You have the mic now. Paul from Gabon. Yeah, Mazi, good morning. You're welcome. Yeah, my name is Paul, calling from Gabon. 
Um, as, uh, I'm very, very happy this morning, uh, the way you're narrating things. May the Elohim and the Pokerbeam protect you. If it's blessed me, God has already blessed you because for you to be in this platform, talking to the fans, you are, you are blessed. So, the Pokerbeam will protect you and protect our leader, Martin and the channel. Um, this morning, I want to tell all the fans, especially what this our brother is saying now, is that... Uh, I'm, 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 I'm supposed with what he's saying. Because Biafra, Biafra is here. If you, if you, if you see what is going on, it's, it's to show you that we are doing things. We are, we are going ahead, ahead. And the people are supposed to understand that, that if, the, if that IPOB and the American are not here by now, what are we going to face if that there is nothing like IPOB or our leader? It's to show you that, uh, they are back, and we have, we have this. We have been this world. They, you know, what I already said that very soon we say no. We talk about us, whether they talk about bad or good, but they will talk about us. And now you see that the world is that is that they, they are not hearing what they are doing, but they will hear us as soon as we change the narrative, as soon as we do the needful, the world will open their, their mouth and speak. Uh, I'm sure that the 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 the, the, bribe, the gender we are spraying them and eating that the bribe. Not to the that bribe will not come will not uh, go to them anymore or they will, they will be tired of taking that bribe. They will do the needful. If it's about Biafra, Biafra is here. I want to tell people that see these people are molesting the travel, but is in is is the time for the new actress in the land. In the zoo, in the world, especially, but rise up against this injustice because fire is flag. Fire is not a, is not terrorist. Fire is not a, a AK-47. Flag is not a, a, a weapon. I, I can't see the reason why this is the way we will start molesting children. We want to tell you that any man, woman, or man who is not not condemning or who is happy. For what the victory of Ago, the person will not live to see that age. In his family, nobody will go to that age in his family. What the victory of Ago is yesterday. If you're happy, go to your family. Nobody will reach that age. Everybody in that family will die. We don't have to reach that age. He's, he's, come, he's coming to my mind. I'm my spirit. I'm saying this morning, if you're condemning or if you're happy, what's happened to you at Ago? No, no, I don't mean to reach that age of the man. Is, is, I, 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 I'm feeling now, you see that we have to do something like that. Until, until we rise up and do the evil. Because evil is evil. See what is happening in the world? There are children with the bandits, bringing their family, no one, 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 the, the, the zoo has gone. The inspiration is to show you that people all over Africa will die. Any of you who are here will hunt them down. Thank you, Masi. You know, bless. I'm going to come very soon. If you don't, you are going to put to them. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's our dear brother Paul Oyemere from Gabon. Keep it up. I love you guys in Gabon. I love you guys. Let's take this caller. Caller, you have been waiting patiently. Thank you for your patience, your name, and your location. Thank you, Mazi Chikwachineke. You are speaking to. You are speaking to Sochima. Sochima is calling from Johannesburg in uh, South Africa. Welcome, Mazi. Thank you very much, Mazi. What uh, the army did to. Uh, Chiwetalago, Mazi, it is very terrible. Mazi, these people did not arrest him, they molested him, and they abducted him. Exactly. That is not how you arrest somebody. How do you do that to an old man, to an elder, like that, in public? Mazi, I am very ashamed, honestly. I am very ashamed that... Uh, uh, the they, they Nollywood and all that are still quiet. Mazi, I am very ashamed, honestly. 
And this is what we go through every day in Nigeria. This is what we are subjected to every single day. When you see an army, when you see a police officer, any security personnel, you are even afraid of your life, Mazi. Huh? This cannot be how people should survive, Mazi. Even, even the Christ that, uh, that uh, our preachers preach, when his disciples were there, they were carrying guns, even uh, carrying knives, even uh, 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 Peter. When Christ said to him, put back your knife in your pocket, he did not say throw it away. He said, put it back. This is, it is uh, our people, Biko, we need to know what to do, Biko, because this cannot keep happening. And I am very happy that, uh, in fact, what uh, Chiwetalago taught me is that the government don't need to like my story, but they need to hear it. The world must hear it. We cannot stop because they don't like it. No. I heard that he's been wearing that cloth for over a, a week every day. So we must do what we can do to be free. We must do what we can do. And this goes out to everybody, even those working for the politicians. They must do what they have to do to free us from these politicians. You know, they are close to them. They have access. They are evil people first. That is my that is my take, Maz. Eh? That is my take. Thank you very much for Thank the opportunity. Thank you very much. That's a very wonderful one from our dear brother, Maz Sachima. Thank you very much. Uh, you really said it. It's an insult to our veteran, our elder. Uh, everybody have to. Well, should I be saying a uh, politicians? It doesn't make sense on that because they are not. Those ones are gone. The Abram Madden. That shot. Politicians are gone. Thank you very much, uh, Sachima, for that one. And uh, thank you very much for being part of this program. We have to bring it to an end at this moment. Uh, brothers and sisters, I encourage you to be resolute and continue to press on. As for this battle, we are not going back. We must finish it. Very, very important. Don't relent. Don't be afraid. Press on. Whether you talk then go kill you. If you not talk, then go kill you. Whether you act, then go kill you. If you not act, then go still kill you. It better we act. It better we act. Perhaps we go win the thing. And it go better for us. Thank you very much and may the most high bless us. So we won't be able to take this call. Call us. Just hold it there. As we round up with a word of prayer. Father, we thank you, Lord. We bless you. We give you praise. Be thou exalted. Abba Father, Jehovah Ninsi, we return every glory, honor, adoration, and adulation unto thy holy name. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. We thank you for everything, Lord. All glory, honor, adoration, and adulation unto thy holy name, Lord. Father, take every glory, take every honor, take every adoration. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. Be thou exalted, Abba Father. Father, Lord, as you pour your blessings upon your people to the glory of your name, our leader, Mazin Namdekana, Lord, your blessing will be enough in his life that the enemy cannot come closer. Father, your blessings, O Lord God, you have upon ESN. That enemy can't even see them, neither to know where they are. Rather, that blessing will help them to destroy this enemy that are coming against us. Father, your blessing, O Lord, upon Biafrance all over the world, a to redeemer, my Lord and my God, that your children, O Lord God Jehovah, will continue to rejoice. Father, Lord God Jehovah, let your blessing come upon the land of Biafra at this moment, that evil will run away. Evil will fight each other there. Evil will disappear in the blessed land of Biafra. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, Abba Father, be thou exalted ancient of ancient. That this we pray and believe that you have answered as we make this prayer in the mighty name of your beloved son, Yeshua HaMashiach. And I leave you with this word. The Bible says, No weapon forged against you shall prosper, for he will reproof every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and this is their vindication from me, says the Lord.